I'm going to be Google translating Minecraft mobs 8,000 times and then making whatever result I get. The first mob is a pillager, translate, and we got shadow. For this one, I think I'm going to make shadow the hedgehog. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs longer, and we'll color him fully black. Now let's extend out his mouth, and we'll add his eyes. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll add his hair things on the side of his head. Now let's draw this thing on his chest. Next, let's give him some hands. Now finally, let's add some texture. And I think we're done, let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, his arms look really weird when he's moving. But other than that, nothing seems to be broken. Let's spawn a baby shadow. Never mind, that isn't real. Let's spawn an army of shadows. And let's see if they can beat the iron golem. Oh my god, the iron golem is going crazy. Come on, shadow army, you can do it. And they actually did it. Because Shadow is supposed to be fast, let's see if he can catch a villager. Oh, they're not actually chasing him, they're just shooting. Let's give them all speed too. These guys are way too fast now, this is scary. Alright, I'm going to give Shadow an 8 out of 10, he looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper, translating, and we got Knight. For this one, I'm going to make Meta Knight. Let's remove his body, and we'll move his head down. Now let's extend out his feet, and we'll make him a bit circular. Now let's color his body, and let's draw his helmet. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a sword. Now let's draw his wings. Now finally let's add texture, and I think that looks really good, let's see it in game. Okay, I think something is wrong with his feet. Okay, that looks a lot better. His body isn't really attached to his feet though, so that's weird. Let's see a supercharged Meta Knight. Yeah, I don't think he looks that good supercharged. Let's just blow him up. That's better. Let's spawn an army of Meta Knights, and let's see if I can beat them in a fight. This would be scarier if they actually attacked me and didn't just blow up. But since they blow up, I can just do this. And now they're all dead. Well, almost. Alright, I'm going to give Meta Knight a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Shy. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shy Guy. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll move his head. Now let's make his legs smaller, and we'll color him fully red, and we'll add his mask. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll add his mouth. Now let's draw his belt. Now let's give him some arms. Now finally, let's add some texture. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Alright, that actually looks pretty good. Somehow the pigs always end up looking good. He even looks normal when he walks. Let's see if the baby has a floating head. Yep, his head is still floating. But I don't think it looks as bad as it normally does. Let's spawn an army of shy guys. And now let's ride a shy guy. How is he able to carry me when he's so small? I have an army now because they're all following me. His right arm over the mask looks so funny. Let's see if shy guy can beat Meta Knight. Okay, I'm pretty sure they don't fight. Let's ride a Shy Guy with speed too. Okay, this doesn't make him much faster, honestly. Alright, I'm going to give Shy Guy a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a chicken. Translate. And we got Starter. For this one, I'm going to make Quaxly because he's my favorite starter in the new Pokemon game. Let's move his body. Next, let's color him white. And we'll color his beak yellow. And we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his hat. Now let's draw the symbol on his hat. Next, let's make his arms smaller. Now let's color his feet blue, and we'll add some texture. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, something is wrong with his arms. Okay, that only made the problem worse. Okay, I don't know how to fix this, this is good enough. Alright, his head moves really weird as well. But other than that, I think he looks fine. Okay, I'm lying, it's definitely not fine. Let's spawn a baby Quaxly. Okay, this is even worse, what is wrong with his head? I'm getting rid of this one. Let's see if I can catch Quaxly in a Pokeball. Okay, this joke really isn't funny. Let's spawn a Quaxly army, and let's have them all follow me. I finally have my own duck army. Subscribe to join the duck army. Alright, I'm going to give Quaxly a 5 out of 10. I like him, but he's too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating, and we got Strange. For this one, I think we'll make Doctor Strange. Let's give him a neck, and we'll add his head, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth, and we'll also give him a beard. Now let's add his nose. Next, let's give him some hair, and we'll add his cape. Now we'll add the eye thing on his chest. Now finally, let's add texture. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. His cape looks kinda weird cause it doesn't move though. I also think I added a little too much texture to him. But other than that, he looks good. Let's see a baby Doctor Strange. This is the first baby that isn't broken. This is funny though, he looks like a kid in a costume. 
Let's spawn an army of Doctor Stranges. And now let's see if they can beat Shadow. Oh, they don't fight. Now let's see if they can kill this villager. Okay, now Shadow is killing them. This 1v1 is crazy. Okay, Shadow had no chance using a bow. I love how far back the army is compared to the babies. They literally just gave up because they were too far. Alright, I'm going to give Doctor Strange an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Picklin. What will we get? And we got Wizard. For this one, I think I'm going to make Harry Potter. Let's make his head smaller. Now let's color his clothes. Now let's give him some eyes. And we'll give him a mouth. And a nose. Now let's add his hair. Now let's add his glasses. Now let's give him a tie. And we'll give him a belt. Now let's add his shoes. And finally we'll add texture. And I think that looks fine, let's see him in game. This doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look like Harry Potter. Oh, and I also forgot to color his back. Oh yeah, we have to find him in the nether. Oh, he has a gold chest plate now. I wonder if I can give him a wand. Nope, I don't think he wants it. Let's spawn a baby Harry Potter. This looks kinda weird. At least his head isn't floating. Let's spawn a Harry Potter army. And now let's see if they'll fight Shadow. Oh yeah, I have to make them shoot each other first. Okay, Shadow literally died in a millisecond. What about a Shadow army versus the Harry Potters? Okay, the Shadows just aren't fighting them. Yet somehow they are winning. Okay, I think the Harry Potters won this one. Alright, I'm going to give Harry Potter a 6 out of 10. He doesn't look like Harry Potter. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a turtle. Translate. And we got slow. For this one, I think we'll make Q from alphabet lore because he's slow. Let's delete all this stuff and we'll make him into a rectangle. Now let's color the rectangle, and we'll add the rest of his body up here, and we'll fully outline him in black. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll color it in darker brown. Next, let's add these spots right here, and we'll give him his eyes. Now finally, let's outline his back as well, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. I don't think there's turtles in the nether. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. He's literally moving like a snail right now. Let's see a baby Q. Oh my god, he is ridiculously small. I can barely even see him. How is this possible? Wait, these Qs are swimming in the water. Let's spawn a Q army. And let's give them slowness so they're even slower. They're barely even able to move now. This is crazy. Now let's lure them all towards me. I've been standing here for so long and they still haven't made it over. They kind of look like sushi rolls from this angle. Alright, I'm going to give Q an 8 out of 10. He looks really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a B. Translating. And we got Rush. For this one, let's make Rush from Roblox Doors. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body thinner. Now let's extend his body out a bit, and we'll extend out the sides to make him look circular. And we'll also do this on the top and bottom. Now let's add his dark grey mouth, and we'll add his eyes, and his nose thing. Now let's give him some yellow teeth, and we'll add some teeth on the bottom as well. Now let's add some detail to his face, and we'll make it a bit darker under his teeth. And I think that's good, let's see it in game. Oh, that is not what we want. Okay, that looks better. Honestly, this might be the scariest mob we've made yet. The way he flies is terrifying. Let's see a baby rush. Okay, that's not as bad. At least it looks like I could beat this one in a fight. Let's spawn an army of rushes. And let's see if I can get away from them. Oh god, I'm still on half a heart. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, he's not as scary now that I know how slow he moves. This would still be terrifying if I saw this in the game. Alright, I'm going to give Rush a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate, and we got Wise Old. For this one, I think I'm going to make Yoda. First, let's remove his feet and legs, and we'll shape him more like Yoda. Now let's give him a head, and I'll color his shirt gray, and his head and feet green. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll color these gray, and I'll extend his second arm out so I can make him hold a lightsaber. Now let's make his ears, and we'll give him a couple eyes. Now let's give him some eyelids, and a nose, and a mouth, and we'll color him brown underneath his coat. Now we'll finally give him a green lightsaber. I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. That isn't right. That looks more like Yoda. Look at how he's walking. Why does that kind of look good? Something is wrong with his lightsaber though. I'm not sure what happened there. Yo, when did Yoda learn how to jump like that? I wish I could spawn a baby Yoda. Yoda versus a magma cube. Oh, he's running away. Oh my god, they both ate it. Yoda army. Honestly, the sound they make kind of suits him. Alright, let's spawn a bunch of magma cubes. Use the lightsaber, Yoda. Okay, I think these guys are too big. I don't know why I like seeing them eat the magma cubes so much. It just looks so weird. Alright, I think I'm gonna give Yoda a 10 out of 10. I think he looks amazing. 
It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translating, and we got Train. For this one, I'm going to make Thomas the Tank Engine. First, let's get rid of all of this. Next, we'll extend the back up a bit, and I'll color him blue. Next, I'll give him some wheels, and I'll add a little black roof on the back. Now, let's color in his face, and we'll draw his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth. Now, let's add his nose, and next, we'll add the train thing on his head, and we'll add another one in blue. Now, we can draw some windows, and we'll put the red outlines on the bottom, and finally, I will draw the number one on his side. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. All right, we have to make our way to the end. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with his head. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be floating like that. All right, that looks much better. Imagine finally making it to the end in your world, and then you see this instead of the Ender Dragon. Honestly, this is a good replacement, though. I won't lie. Oh, he's perching. I love how he flips, just like the battle bus. Enderman, watch out. There's a train coming through. The Endermen are not happy anymore. What happens if we spawn a bunch of Thomases? Oh god, that's too many. I can't break it. Oh no. Well, this this might be a problem. Where are they all going? Goodbye, Thomases, I guess. It's better for them up there anyway. That way my FPS is safe. I'm going to give Thomas a 9 out of 10. He looks really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. What will we get? And we got green onions. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shrek. First, we'll color his head in green. Next, I'll color his shirt a tan color. And we'll make his pants brown. Now, I'll draw his vest over his shirt. And we'll give him his belt as well. Now, let's make his hands green. And I'll give him a big nose. And we'll draw some eyes above that. That. Now let's give him some eyebrows, and we'll give him his mouth. Now we can add his ears, and I'll turn them sideways a little bit. Now finally, I will add his shoes, and that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't sound like Shrek though. If I was this chicken, I would watch out. Oh no, Shrek is angry. I'm sorry, chicken. Let's watch a Shrek emerge from the ground. Wow, this is exactly how I remember it in the movie. Alright, let's spawn a bunch of Shreks. And I think they need someone to fight, so let's give them one sheep. I wonder who will win. This will be close. Oh, the sheep almost had them. But seriously, let's spawn one wither and see how fast they kill it. Oh, that explosion made them mad. Time for a warden death ray. Honestly, the wither might win this one. They aren't doing that much damage. Oh, never mind. The wither seems to be stuck. Dang, not even one Shrek died. All right, I give Shrek an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an enderman. Translate. And we got siren. For this one, I'm going to make siren head. First, I'll shorten his legs. Next, I will give him a torso. Now, we can make his head into a stick and I'll color him a coppery color. Now let's add the first siren, and we'll color it black and add the teeth. Now I'll rotate it sideways, and I'll copy it over to the other side. Now let's add texture to his body, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Yeah, that's definitely Siren Head. He's not too scary in Minecraft though, to be honest. I mean, when he's chasing me, it's definitely worse. Even though his head starts floating. Yeah, there's no way he'll get me now, buddy. Let's go check out the end. Oh yeah, there's 5,000 Ender Dragons. And because of all the Ender Dragons, only one Siren Head spawned. Nice. Alright, that should do the trick. There's a lot more siren heads over here now. Alright, let's see how long I can survive. Oh god, there's already an army behind me. Oh god, they're all teleporting to me. Guys, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to look at you. I guess they don't accept apologies. Oh no, I'm on half a heart. No, I almost made it through the portal. I give siren head a 7 out of 10. He was kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a silverfish. Translating, and we got tiny green. For this one, I think I'm going to make plankton. Let's get rid of all these layers, and we'll make this part into his body. Now let's give him a couple of legs, and we'll color all this green. Next, let's draw his yellow eye, and we'll give him a red pupil. Now, let's draw his angry eyebrow, and we'll give him a wide open mouth. Now, let's give him some arms, and in the picture I'm looking at, they're up in the air, so let's rotate them up. Now, finally, we can add the antenna type things to his head, and that looks good. Let's see him in game. Wait, that actually turned out really good. I have no idea where he's going, though. I think he's off to find the Krabby Patty formula. Well, then we'll have to bring him to the Krusty Krab. Plankton, I think the Krabby Patty formula is in this chest. I guess he doesn't want it anymore. I think they all died from excitement. What just happened? Did I just lag back in a single player world? Alright, let's spawn a bunch of planktons. And let's put them against one Shrek. Who will win? Shrek doesn't even seem to be bothered by them. Never mind. Run away, plankton. Alright, I give plankton a 9 out of 10. He looks better than I expected. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got fast. Last time I made a fox, I made Sonic. So this time, I'm going to make tails. Let's color him in dark yellow. And we'll change the shape of his ears. Let's add the white hair at the bottom of his face. And we'll give him some big blue eyes. Now let's draw his nose and we'll add his white gloves. Next, let's draw his shoes on the back legs, and we'll extend them out a little bit. Now, let's color the back part of his tail white, and we'll copy it over because he has two tails, and I think that turned out good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good. Tails versus a chicken, who will win? Dang, Tails killed him instantly. Can Tails use a sword? I'm not sure, honestly. Sword Tails going crazy. Wait, no, you dropped the sword. I guess chicken is a better weapon than a sword. Let's spawn a bunch of Tailses, and let's spawn a rabbit. Which one will get it? I don't think they can reach it. Let's lower it down
down a little bit. I honestly didn't think they could get it from there. All right, Tails, what are you gonna do now? Wait, how did he hit that one? Oh no, they're going crazy. I don't know how he got up there. That jump is pretty high. All right, I give Tails an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate. And we got scary. For this one, I'm going to make Bunso Bunny. First, let's rotate his arms and we'll make his ears flop down. Now, let's extend the front of his face out and we'll color his head yellow. Now, let's draw his scary mouth and we'll give him some teeth on the sides. Next, we'll add his cheeks and let's draw these green things along with his eyes. Next, we'll color the rest of him yellow and we'll add his green overalls. Next, let's give him his symbols and we'll add a hat to his head and let's color the hat green. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with him. But honestly, it makes him look more scary, so I'm alright with it. We're just gonna ignore the floating ears. How does the baby look? Yeah, the ears are still floating. This is very cursed. Might as well just feed them to the Tailses. This one guy is trying to get away. Alright, we'll spawn an army of Bunzo Bunnies, because why not? Why are they just slowly hopping towards me? Now this is scary. I'm being surrounded. Alright, I give Bunzo Bunny a 4 out of 10. Too many things were broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translating, and we got Starfish. For this one, I'm going to make Patrick Star. Let's remove the hairs, and we'll make his legs a lot smaller. Next, let's shape his body into a star, and we'll color him fully pink. Now we'll give him some arms, and we'll draw his green shorts. Next, let's give him big eyes, and we'll add his giant smile, and we'll give him a pink tongue. Now finally, we can add the purple flowers on his shorts, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good, considering it's a triangle in Minecraft. Let's find some in the nether. And here we have a bunch of Patrick standing on the lava. Once again, this is kind of weird, considering he lives underwater. Let's ride a Patrick. Yo, this looks really weird. Let's spawn an army of Patricks. Yo, it's baby Patrick. And there's also a Patrick with a pig man on top. Let's go, Patrick army. I don't think I remember this part in the show. Alright, I give Patrick a 7 out of 10. He kind of looks weird in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. What will we get? And we got Hungry Clown. For this one, I think I'm going to make Ronald McDonald. First, let's turn the hat into hair, and we'll color it fully red. Now, let's remove his nose, and we'll color his face white. Next, let's give him a red nose, and a big red smile, and we'll draw his eyes. Okay, that actually looks kind of scary. Now, let's color his shirt in yellow, and we'll put red and white stripes on the sleeve. Next, we'll add a white collar, and we'll draw a red zipper down the middle. Now, we'll color his pants yellow too, and we'll give him red and white striped socks. Now, let's add his red shoes, and we'll make them black on the bottom. Okay, that turned out kind of scary. Let's see him in game. Somehow, this is the scariest mob I've made yet. Ronald McDonald's versus Iron Golem. Yeah, not so scary anymore. He wasn't even supposed to be scary to begin with. Oh no, the golem is coming for him. Let's spawn a huge Ronald McDonald army. Wait, will these guys fight a villager? Nah, they don't even fight. Why is the Iron Golem so mad at them? Alright, Ronald McDonald versus Shrek. That is a fight I never thought I would see. Uh, Ronald, you got something behind you. Oh no, Shrek is angry. And that's one Ronald down. Alright, I give Ronald McDonald an 8 out of 10. I think he looks good, but he's not supposed to be scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a polar bear. Translate. And we got Honey. For this one, I'm going to make Winnie the Pooh. Let's color him fully yellow, and we'll draw his red shirt. Now let's change this part of his face a bit, and we'll give him little black eyes with some black eyebrows above. Now let's draw his pink tongue, and a red smile smile on the sides, and finally we'll give him a little black nose. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. He doesn't look too bad. Kinda big for Winnie the Pooh though. What about the baby? The baby is definitely a better size. Alright, let's give him some honey. That's weird, it doesn't look like they want it. Alright, Winnie the Pooh versus Tails, who will win? Oh god, Tails is already running away. And Tails already outran him. I think I have a solution for that. Okay, never mind, I guess Tails is just too fast. Let's spawn a Winnie the Pooh army. That is just not the sound I would imagine Winnie the Pooh makes. Okay, surely this Tails can can't outrun them. Okay, he died instantly. Time to get chased by a bunch of Winnie the Poohs. Okay, these guys are really slow. Alright, I give Winnie the Pooh a 7 out of 10. He didn't turn out too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating, and we got Red Puppet. For this one, I think I'm going to make Elmo. Let's color his head and body red, and we'll move this part of his head down a bit, and we'll pull this back a bit so his mouth is open. Now let's color his mouth in black, and we'll do the same on the bottom and top part. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll color his nose orange. Next, we'll give him some eyes and we'll give him a couple of black pupils all right that looks pretty good let's see it in game okay that looks good not sure why the back of his neck is white though but elmo has a bow and he came ready for battle i'm really not sure that's what happens in the show all right let's see a wolf versus elmo dang the wolf is angry the wolf is running sideways elmo better run this wolf is crazy that wolf is hungry for elmo's bones okay he hit him oh he hit him again and the wolf is running away again oh my god he finally got him 
and he didn't even get any Elmo bones. Alright, I give Elmo a 6 out of 10. He's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got pink ball. I think for this one, I will make Kirby. Let's delete the body, and we'll move the head down. Now let's delete his back legs, and we'll extend the front legs out like this. Next, let's color his legs in dark pink, and we'll color his body in a lighter pink. Now let's give him some tiny arms, and we'll draw his little red mouth, and let's give him some blue eyes, and finally we will draw his pink cheeks. Okay, something looks wrong. That looks much better. Let's see it in game. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. Not sure what's happening with his body right now though, but even his walk didn't turn out too bad, honestly. Let's spawn an army of Kirby's, and now let's spawn a baby Kirby. Oh yeah. Kirby's versus one cat, who will win? I don't know why they're afraid of one cat. Let's see a charged Kirby. Oh god, they're all gonna die. I don't think the charge really fits Kirby. Let's see if it can blow up a Shrek. Not even close. Alright, I give Kirby an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate. And we got money video. For this one, I think I'm going to make Mr. Beast. Let's give him a black shirt, and we'll color in his arms and his head. Now let's give him gray shorts, and we'll color his legs as well. Next, I'll draw the Mr. Beast logo on his shirt, and I'll give him some green eyes, and some brown eyebrows. Now let's do his hair, and we'll give him some white teeth, and now let's draw his beard. Okay, his mouth looks kind of like buck teeth, so I'm gonna change the color. Now finally, we can give him some shoes, and that looks alright. Let's see it in game. That doesn't look too bad. It honestly just looks like a random guy, though. There's no proof this is Mr. Beast. Maybe he'll give this random villager money. Oh wow, he's chasing him to give it to him. How nice. Wait, no, he wasn't supposed to do that. Alright, let's see if Mr. Beast can raid a village. I guess Mr. Beast really doesn't like villagers. Maybe baby Mr. Beast is better. Oh no, baby Mr. Beast is fast. That just made things worse. Alright, Mr. Beast versus Iron Golem. That was fast. Mr. Beast army versus Iron Golem. Oh no, the Iron Golem is cornered. Dang, they actually won. Should I let him in? Of course I'm gonna let him in. Dang, they left fast. Alright, I give Mr. Beast a 7 out of 10. He's basically just a player skin. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a turtle. Translating, and we got water. For this one, I think I'm going to make Squirtle. Let's color his head and arm thingies blue, and we'll also color his legs. Now we'll add a white outline around the shell, and I'll trace over the shell with different shades of brown. Alright, just one more color left. That looks pretty good. Now we'll make his head a bit bigger, and we'll give him some purple eyes, and we'll add white to the outside. Next, let's give him some tiny eyebrows, and we'll give him a smile that doesn't look weird at all. Now let's make a spirally tail and that looks good let's see him in game okay let me know if you guys see the problem it's kind of hard to spot i don't really know how this happened so i guess we'll just ignore that but other than that he looks fine how does the baby look i was hoping the baby was the size of a regular squirtle because this guy is clearly too big all right squirtle army okay i have to fix the floating thing okay that looks a lot better squirtle use bubble beam or whatever move he has oh wait i have to catch him first nope the pokeballs still don't work I wish I had made him smaller because right now he's bigger than Blastoise. Alright, I give Squirtle a 6 out of 10, he just doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. What will we get? And we got professional. For this one, I'm going to make Matt from Wii Sports because he's good at everything. First, let's change the size of his nose and we'll color in his head. Now let's give him his beard thing and we'll draw his mouth. Next, let's give him some eyes and now we can color his shirt in orange as well as the sleeves and we'll make his pants dark gray. Now finally, we can put the rest of his beard and we'll try to make it look a bit spiky. All right, that doesn't look bad. Let's see it in game. I mean, honestly, he doesn't look too bad. What about baby Matt? Yes, this makes perfect sense. Let's see if Matt can beat me in tennis. I think he's losing. Matt versus Mr. Beast, who will win? Well, Mr. Beast is burning, so this is actually a fair fight. And Matt actually wins. I mean, of course he won. He's mad. Let's find a village full of mats. And they're everywhere. They even have a Matt farming over here, with something gold on his beard. Let's spawn a Matt army. And let's see if Mr. Beast can kill them now. Nah, Matt is just too fast. Where is Mr. Beast even going? He's just given up because Matt is too good. Never mind, he's just going for this one while he sleeps. The one place you can beat him. I'm sure he just wants to give him money. I'll let him in. Never mind, I was very wrong. Alright, I give Matt an 8 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. Translate. And we got angry. For this one, I'm going to make the king pig from Angry Birds, but with a full body. Let's color the pig fully green, and we'll make his nose a slightly lighter green. Now let's add a couple of nostrils, and we'll give him his eyes, and a couple eyebrows on top, and a little mouth underneath. Now let's add his green ears, and we'll make a crown in the middle of his ears. Let's add the spiky parts to the top, and we'll draw some blue jewels in the middle. And that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. That looks pretty good. It was pretty easy to not mess this one up though, to be fair. Let's spawn a baby pig and see how it looks. I think I like it better because of the giant head. Alright, let's spawn an army of angry birds. 
I don't think they're very angry. Let's spawn a pig army. Now we won't know which one is actually the king. What is Elmo doing in the water over here? Alright, let's make Shrek fight the pigs since the angry birds won't do it. Okay, that's just mean. I have a better idea. Let's see if we can hit any pigs. No, he moved out of the way. Okay, attempt number two. No, that was so close. These chickens don't go very far. Okay, this is my last bird. Let's get a running start. Come on. No, he moved last second. I guess I'm just bad at Angry Birds. Alright, I give Angry Birds Pig an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translate. And we got Funny Dog. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Goofy. Let's remove the hair, and we'll shape his body. Now let's color his shirt orange, and we'll color his pants blue. Next, let's shape his head, and we'll color his mouth. Now let's color the back of his head black, and we'll color his mouth as well. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's add his front teeth, and we'll add his green hat. Now let's Let's give him his ears, and we'll color in his gloves. Now let's add his jacket, and finally we'll add his giant shoes. Okay, I think that looks really good. Let's see it in game. Okay, I didn't really expect this to happen. That looks a lot better. Okay, his walk animation is really cursed. Let's go find Goofy in the nether. And here is Goofy in his natural habitat. This is kind of scary, to be honest. Let's ride a Goofy. Oh my god, why is it all green? This is perfectly normal. There is nothing wrong with this. Look at them all emerging in the back. Let's spawn an army of Goofies. Wait, I forgot there could be baby Goofies. They look so funny. There's even a baby Goofy on top of another Goofy. Follow me, Goofy Army. Why do they lean back so far? Look at how the babies move. It's so funny. I'm going to give Goofy a 7 out of 10. He looks good, but he's broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating, and we got Hairy Monster. For this one, I'm going to make Sully from Monsters, Inc. Let's color him fully blue, and we'll add a lighter belly patch. Now let's add some purple spots on his body, and I'll give him a little nose. Now let's draw a smile, and we'll give him a couple of eyes. Next, I'll extend his eyelids out a bit, and we'll add a couple horns on the side. Now let's add his lizard-like tail, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in-game. Okay, he looks pretty good. I keep forgetting to texture the top of the legs, so. But other than that, I don't see any problems. I don't think he's a fan of that chicken, though. Let's see if he'll go through the store. No, Sully, you're going the wrong way. Oh god, he's angry. What did the horse do? They're killing the horse for no reason. Let's go find a Sully in the deep dark. I think that was the first time it looked kind of normal. Honestly, Sully could have been the warden. They look really similar. I think he's angry at this baby zombie, but he can't find him. Oh, never mind. Sully versus Goofy, who will win? Oh, Sully's just killing other people instead. Sully is going on a rampage. Never mind, rip Goofy. Alright, I give Sully a 9 out of 10. He was almost perfect. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. What will we get? And we got lightning. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Thor. Let's color his head and his arms, and we'll color the rest of his body blue. Now let's add his hair, and we'll drag his head up a bit and give him a neck. Now let's add his cape, and we'll color the cape red. Next I will give him some blue eyes, and I'll add his eyebrows, and his mouth. Now let's add his beard, and we'll give him two shoulder pads. Now let's add his gloves, and we'll add a pattern on his shirt and pants. Now finally I will give him his hammer, and I think that looks good, let's see it in game. I don't know why the textures keep messing up. Oh, and both of his shoulders are the same shoulder, but other than that, he doesn't look too bad. Let's see baby Thor. If you would move, that would be cool. It's literally just Thor, but smaller. Let's see if Thor can get struck by lightning. Doesn't really look like it. At least you live. Let's spawn a bunch of Thors, and let's see if they can defeat Sully. I forgot, they don't fight back. Rip Sully. Let's see if the Thors can defeat the Iron Golem. Dang, the Iron Golem's getting destroyed. He's not even one-shotting the Thors. That was an easy win for the Thor army. Alright, I give Thor an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate. And we got lasagna. For this one, I'm going to make Garfield because he loves lasagna. Let's remove all of this and we'll shape his body and head. Now let's color him fully orange, and we'll give him a couple of arms. Now let's extend his face out a bit, and we'll color this lighter orange. Next, let's give him a pink nose, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's extend his eyelids out a bit, and we'll give him his ears. Now let's give him a tail, and finally we'll add black stripes all over his body. That looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Yeah, that looks like Garfield. I'm not sure about his walk though. Since when did Garfield learn how to jump like that? Actually, it's not that weird. I'm pretty sure cats can jump high. I don't know about fat cats though. Let's spawn a baby Garfield. Oh yeah. Let's see if Garfield will eat this lasagna. Dang, he ate it in one bite. Let's spawn a bunch of Garfields. I love the noise they make when they hit the ground. Let's watch these Garfields eat a bunch of magma cubes. I think these guys are too big. Wow, the Garfields are devouring these magma cubes. Alright, I give Garfield a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating, and we got Chef. For this one, I think I'm going to make Gordon Ramsay. Let's color his shirt white, and we'll 
we'll color his pants black. Now let's color his head. And we'll give him some blonde hair. Now let's color his arms. And we'll give him some blue eyes. Now let's add his eyebrows. And we'll extend his nose out a bit. Next, let's draw his mouth. And we'll give him a little collar on his shirt. Now let's add the buttons to his shirt. And finally, I'll give him a little chef's hat. I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Alright, that doesn't look bad. The textures are always broken. I don't understand why. Honestly, he kind of just looks like a chef though. He's only Gordon Ramsay if you know he's Gordon Ramsay. Where is he going? Let's see if Gordon Ramsay can cook a five-star meal. Okay, he's going to gather his ingredients like a real chef. Okay, I'm starting to think he just doesn't want to cook. Let's spawn a baby Gordon Ramsay. I wonder if this one can cook. It doesn't look like it. Let's spawn a bunch of Gordon Ramsays. Surely one of these guys knows how to cook. Oh wow, they're making a steak. That was pretty good. Oh, they're making a chicken too. Oh, I guess it's done. Wait, guys, this is raw. Oh god, they're all angry at me. Alright, I give Gordon Ramsay an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. What will we get? And we got rainbow. For this one, I'm going to make the blue rainbow friend. Let's make his arms a bit smaller, and we'll do the same for his legs. Now let's change the shape of his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's add his crown, and we'll color it yellow. Next we'll add the spiky parts on top, and we'll add his eyes, and let's put the circle inside this one, and we'll add the X to the other one. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll put the drool on the side, and I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. That looks pretty good I think. Honestly, I don't even know what Rainbow Friends is, I've just seen a lot of comments telling me to make it. Let's see if Blue can beat Gordon Ramsay. Easily. Let's see if Blue can beat Thor and Gordon Ramsay. Still too easy. Let's see if Blue can beat Sully. Yeah, Blue literally had no chance. Let's spawn an army of Blues. Oh no. Oh god, this is bad. I think I spawned a little too many. There's so many of them, they can't even move. Sully's not even fighting back. He knows he's doomed. Never mind. Wow, he actually almost beat them. Well, he almost beat like 3% of them. I'm going to give Blue a 10 out of 10. I think he looks perfect. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got space. For this one, I think I'll make Buzz Lightyear. Let's color his body white. And we'll add his purple mask. Now let's color the rest of his face. And we'll give him a big smile. Now let's extend his nose out. And we'll give him a couple blue eyes. Now let's add his eyebrows. And we'll color the top part of his space suit. Next, let's add the purple lines on the bottom. And we'll add some green lines all around his body. And finally, let's color his shoulders black. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this looks kind of weird. Weird. Honestly, it looks like somebody wearing a Buzz Lightyear costume. Let's see if Buzz Lightyear can outrun Gordon Ramsay. Okay, there's two Gordon Ramsays. How did that happen? It's not looking good for Buzz Lightyear. Never mind, he actually managed to get away. Wait, there's another Gordon Ramsay chasing him. Let's see a baby Buzz Lightyear. This is definitely a better size because Buzz Lightyear is a toy. Let's find a Buzz Lightyear village. And here's a bunch of Buzz Lightyears in their natural habitat. There's even a Buzz Lightyear farming over here. And these two are having a conversation. Oh, I think I interrupted them. What happens if I ring the bell? Wait, did I do that? Alright, I give Buzz Lightyear a 10 out of 10. I don't know why, but I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. Translating. And we got King. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Lord Farquaad. Let's color his shirt red, and we'll give him dark gray pants. Now let's add his red cape, and we'll give him a belt. Now let's color his hands dark orange, and we'll color his head. Next, let's give him a mouth, and we'll extend out his nose. Now let's give him some green eyes, and we'll give him a couple of eyebrows. Now let's extend out his hair, and we'll add his hat, and we'll color his hat fully red. Now finally, let's add his belt buckle, and I think he looks good. Let's see him in game. That looks pretty good, I guess. I think his head is a little too big, though. Let's see a baby Farquaad. Oh, that's not a thing. Let's see Lord Farquaad versus Buzz Lightyear. Oh god, he has an axe. Lord Farquaad, relax. He did nothing wrong. Buzz Lightyear is actually kind of fast. Alright, that was boring. Let's see if Lord Farquaad can raid this village. Oh no, Blue is angry at him. It seems like Buzz Lightyear is not wearing the right clothes. Oh, and Blue literally just gave up. Lord Farquaad sucks. He hasn't even gotten a kill. Come on, break down the door. Okay, I'm done with this. Alright, I give Lord Farquaad an 8 out of 10 because the textures were kind of messed up. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got family. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Peter Griffin. Let's color in his head. Next, we'll color his shirt white. And we'll give him some green pants. Now let's add his brown hair. And we'll give him a couple of eyes. Next, we'll draw his mouth, and we'll extend his nose out a bit, and we'll also extend out his ears. Now let's draw his glasses, and we'll color in his arms. Now let's give him a belt, and we'll add a gold belt buckle. Now let's draw the buttons on his shirt, and finally we'll give him some shoes. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. I don't really know what to say about this. Honestly, I think he looks really good, but the actual Peter Griffin looks way different. Let's spawn an army of Peter Griffins, and let's see if these Peter Griffins can defeat Blue. They don't seem to be doing too good. 
They keep shooting each other instead of blue. Okay, they actually won. A lot of Peter Griffins were lost though. Let's give them an easier fight. Let's put them against Buzz Lightyear. Okay, one of them somehow died. RIP Buzz Lightyear. Guys, stop pointing the bow at me. Alright, I give Peter Griffin a 9 out of 10. He looks good, but he doesn't look like Peter Griffin. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an evoker. Translate, and we got villain. For this one, I think I'll make Gru. Let's shrink his head, and we'll color his shirt dark gray. Next, let's color his pants black, and we'll color in his head. Next, we'll give him some blue eyes, and we'll add some eyebrows on top, and a mouth underneath. Now, let's extend his nose out, and we'll color in his hands. Next, let's add the zipper to his shirt. Now, let's add his scarf, and we'll extend it down on each side. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Oh my god, what happened to his neck? Other than that, I kind of like him though. Let's see Gru versus Thor. There is a major height difference, which is weird because Gru is approximately 14 feet tall. Okay, I guess they don't want to fight each other. Let's just see Gru fight Buzz Lightyear. It looks like Gru is summoning his minions, although I don't think this is how they look. Let's spawn an army of Grus. Now let's see them kill a Buzz Lightyear. I love seeing all the spikes come out of the ground. Let's see them fight a bunch of Buzz Lightyears. Oh my god, that was the loudest sound in the game. Wait, some of them managed to get away. Oh no, watch out for the Vex. Never mind, he's retreating. Alright, I give Gru a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translating. And we got purple. For this one, I'm going to make Waluigi. Let's delete all this stuff. And we'll color his shirt purple. Now let's color his head. And we'll give him some big white teeth. Now let's add his mustache. And we'll give him a couple of eyes. Next, let's draw his eyebrows. And we'll extend his big nose out. And we'll color it pink. Now let's add his pointy chin. And next, we'll add his hat. And we'll put the upside down L on top. Now let's color his hands. And we'll add his overalls. Now finally we'll add his orange shoes. And that looks good, let's see it in game. Oh wow, that actually looks pretty accurate. Why is a chunk of the hat missing every time the mob has a hat? Let's spawn an army of Waluigi's. And let's see if they can take down Blue. I don't think they're fighting back. I thought Waluigi was supposed to be a bad Luigi, but he won't even fight. Never mind, this one poisoned him. And he also poisoned himself. It looks like Blue wins this fight. It took the poison like 30 seconds to damage him. Alright, I give Waluigi an 8 out of 10. His face is kind of scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Drowned. What will we get? And we got Trooper. For this one, I think I'll make a Stormtrooper. Let's color the body fully white. And we'll add the black eyes. And we'll also put some gray spots on the head. And we'll also add some lighter gray parts underneath. Next, let's color his shoulders black. And we'll do the same for his hands and other parts of his body. And we'll add a few more details. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. Okay, he doesn't look bad. Oh, I didn't know drowns could burn. That's better. Let's see a baby stormtrooper. I think the baby looks a lot better than the big one. Of course, we have to spawn an army of stormtroopers. Oh, he's got a trident. I wonder how good his aim is with that thing. Oh, this one has a fishing rod. That is the least intimidating weapon. Stormtroopers versus Buzz Lightyear. Yep, he's hitting the other stormtroopers with the trident. Oh, the babies are getting close. Oh no, Buzz Lightyear is stuck. Why is this guy holding a shell? These guys choose really bad weapons. Alright, I give the stormtrooper an 8 out of 10. He turned out how I expected. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate, and we got Bug. I think for this one, I'll make Bugs Bunny. Let's color his body gray, and we'll change the shape of his head a bit. Now let's make his ears a bit bigger, and we'll color the bottom of his head white, and we'll do the same to his hands and we'll color his belly white as well now let's color his ears and we'll give him a couple of eyes with little black pupils now let's extend his front teeth out a bit and we'll draw some little whiskers on the side and that looks pretty good let's see it in game why are his eyes crooked i really don't know how that happens honestly he's way too small to be bugs bunny anyway let's see what the baby looks like honestly the baby looks better let's give bugs bunny a carrot okay it's not possible good Baby Bugs Bunny cannot stop eating carrots. What are you looking at? You don't get any more. I wonder if Bugs Bunny likes golden carrots. Yep, he also likes golden carrots. What about Rabbit Stew? He's not a fan. Let's spot a bunch of Bugs Bunnies. And let's watch them all chase me. You don't get any carrots. Go away. Alright, I give Bugs Bunny a 7 out of 10 because he was broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating. And we got scared. For this one, I'm going to make Shaggy. Let's make his head smaller. And we'll give him a neck. Next, let's color his shirt green. And we'll color in his arms as well. Now let's make his legs a little bigger. And we'll give him red pants. Now let's color his neck. And we'll 
will extend his hair out a bit. Now let's give him a couple of eyes, and we'll add some eyebrows on top. Now let's extend his nose out a bit, and we'll give him a little smile. Now finally, let's give him a couple of shoes. And that looks good, let's see him in game. Yep, the texture is messed up like always. And honestly, this doesn't even really look like Shaggy. Shaggy versus Scooby. I'm pretty sure they don't fight, this is weird. Run, Shaggy. Oh god. Maybe he'll calm down for a Scooby snack. Nope, rip Shaggy. Let's spawn a Shaggy army. Now let's see them fight a wolf. Come on, there's so many of you and you're still running. Oh, it looks like the wolf wants Bugs Bunny instead. Alright, I give Shaggy a 5 out of 10. He was very broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an axolotl. What will we get? And we got lost. For this one, I think I'm going to make Dory. Let's delete the legs, and we'll change the shape of her body and head. Now let's color her body blue, and we'll color in her fins. Now let's color this thing blue, and we'll color her tail thing black and yellow. Now let's add some black spots on her body, and we'll give her a couple of eyes, and we'll make her eyes purple. Now finally, let's give her a little smile, and I think we're done. Let's see it in game. That doesn't look bad. At least it looks better than when I made Nemo. Let's spawn one underwater instead. I don't know why the fins are floating. I'm pretty sure Dory is already in the game. Oh, Dory is a cannibal, I guess. And Dory literally only ate the imposter. Let's catch Dory in a bucket. Wait, this is how finding Dory begins. I'm sorry, Dory. Swim back to the ocean. Dory is not taking my advice. Let's spawn an army of Dorys. Oh yeah, I forgot they would eat all the fish. Whatever, Dory looks better anyways. Dory is literally swimming on air. Alright, I give Dory a 7 out of 10. She could have looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate. And we got Salamander. For this one, I think I'm going to make Charmander. Let's delete his back legs, and we'll change his body shape a bit. Now let's make his mouth look open, and we'll color the back of his mouth pink. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a couple nostrils as well. Now let's add a couple of teeth, and we'll add his belly patch. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll add his tail. Now let's put the flame on top of his tail, and finally we'll give him some tiny eyebrows. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Let's see it in game. Okay, this just doesn't look like Charmander. I think this is the Digimon version, honestly. He looks kind of like the car insurance guy. And of course, the texture is broken in random places. Let's see a baby Charmander. I don't know why I always try to spawn a baby creeper. Let's spawn a Charmander army. Now let's see if Charmander can defeat an enemy Squirtle. Wow, this fight is amazing. Pokeball test. Nope. Let's see the supercharged Charmander. How is he burning? He's literally a fire Pokemon. This is probably the best the charge has looked on any custom creeper. Charmander, use self-destruct. Oh no, he killed the other charged creeper. Wait, that dropped a creeper head though. Alright, I give Charmander a 6 out of 10. He looks kind of strange. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translate. And we got turtle. For this one, I think we'll make Bowser. Let's extend out his body, and we'll shrink his arms. Now let's color his body yellow, and we'll add his mouth. Next, let's color his head green and we'll give him some eyes next let's add his nose and we'll color the inside of his mouth now let's give him some teeth and we'll add his horns on the side of his head now let's add his hair and we'll color in his belly next let's add his shell and we'll put the spikes on his shell now we'll add a bit more detail and i think we're done let's see him in game okay i think he actually looks really good ignore the low effort spikes on his back but other than that he definitely looks like bowser let's spawn more bowsers let's see the bowser army versus a bunch of zombies oh no this bowser Bowser is getting targeted. Okay, that was too easy. What about Bowser Army versus the Warden? Dang, they're not even letting the Warden move. Oh no, one of the Bowsers died. The zombie is trying to help him. Okay, they beat the Warden as well. Let me just fix you guys up a bit. Alright, I'm going to give Bowser a 9 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. Translating. And we got King. For this one, I'm going to make King DDD. Let's shrink his body, and we'll move his head. Now let's color him blue, and we'll color his feet yellow. Now let's add his beak, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's color his mouth, and we'll add his shirt thing around his body. Now let's add his coat, and next let's give him some arms, and we'll make his hammer. Now let's add his hat, and finally let's add the white part on the back. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. I can't believe that this is a pig, it looks so different. I honestly think this one turned out really good. Let's see a baby DDD. Okay, what is with baby pigs and floating heads? We'll just pretend that baby pigs don't exist. Let's spawn an army of King DDDs. Okay, we have to get rid of the babies. And now let's ride a King DDD. This is really weird. I love how the other ones are just following me as well. I think they are trying to kill me with the mallet. Guys, relax, I'm one of you. Alright, I give King DDD an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a warden. What will we get? And we got figure. For this one, we have to make figure from Roblox stores. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs longer, and we'll do the same on his arms. Now let's make his head smaller, 
and we'll color him a brownish color. Now let's make the circle on his head, and we'll make the outside a bit more circular. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll color the back a bit darker. Now let's add the bones on his chest, and I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, that actually looks really good. We'll just ignore that his legs look really weird when he walks, but other than that, he looks good. Let's go find figure in the deep dark. Usually it's Seek rising out of the ground, this is so weird. Let's spawn even more figures, and now let's see if they can beat an army of Bowsers. Okay, there's way too many of them, they are destroying the Bowsers. Oh, at least the Bowsers killed one of them. Let's get chased by the figure army. Okay, this is way scarier than the Warden. Yeah, I literally had no chance. Alright, I'm going to give figure a 9 out of 10, he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translate, and we just got G. I guess we'll make G from alphabet lore. Let's delete this stuff, and we'll make him into a little rectangle. Now let's color him purplish, and we'll extend this part out. And now let's add this part, and we'll add a longer part on the back. Now let's rotate it in the middle like this, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's give him a mouth. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, why is he flying? Honestly, I don't even think he looks that bad while he's flying. So we'll just pretend that this was intentional. What about a baby G? Yep, he's still flying. This is so weird. Let's go find G in the nether. Okay, he's still flying flying in the nether that's interesting let's ride a g yeah this is definitely not normal let's spawn an army of g's oh and there's even some g's with pigmen on top follow me g army at least the babies don't really look like they're flying anymore all right i'm going to give g a 7 out of 10 he wasn't supposed to fly it's time for the next mob the next mob is a skeleton translating and we got ray for this one i think i'm going to make man ray let's make his legs bigger and we'll do the same for his arms now let's shrink his head and we'll color his head blue now let's color his body red next let's give him some eyes and a mouth and now we'll add the things on top of his head and we'll add his neck and let's extend it out on the sides like this and i'm actually going to change his eyes now let's give him his underwear and we'll add the lock on his belt now let's give him some gloves and finally we'll add his shoes all right i think that looks pretty good let's see him in game okay this actually looks pretty good i don't think his head is supposed to move like that though let's spawn a baby man ray why do I keep thinking there's baby skeletons? Let's spawn more man rays, and let's see if they can defeat Bowser. Yeah, they're all shooting each other. At least Bowser is taking some damage. I think it's still possible for them to win, and they actually did it. Okay, they're still fighting each other. Alright, I give Man Ray a 9 out of 10. I think he turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got long. For this one, I'm going to make fur because he has a long head. Let's make his arms smaller, and we'll extend his head out a ton. Now let's color his head in, and we'll give him purple pants, and let's color his shirt as well. Now let's add his nose, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll give him some green hair. Now let's draw his shirt, and we'll add his belt. Now finally, we'll give him some shoes, and we're done. Let's see Ferb in game. Oh, he has a flag. Okay, he doesn't look that bad, but I don't remember Ferb being hostile. Why is he aiming a bow at me? Let's spawn an army of Ferbs. Okay, guys, chill. Stop aiming at me. Now let's see if the Ferb army can beat Bowser. If the Man Rays could do it, then the Ferb army should have no problem. Okay, Bowser is already kind of low. I'm sorry, Bowser. Yeah, they did way better than the Man Rays. Now let's see if I can beat the Ferb army. I actually might be able to. They can't hit me. Oh, one of them actually died. They're actually all killing each other. Okay, I'm dead. They started hitting me. Alright, I'm going to give Ferb a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate. And we got pig. That's weird. For this one, I think I'll make Peppa Pig. Let's make her body super flat, and we'll move her head and flatten it. Now let's make her body curve up, and we'll color in her shirt. Now let's color her head, and we'll move her ears. Now let's add her nose, and let's give her some eyes, and we'll draw her mouth underneath. Now let's outline her face, and we'll also outline her shirt. And now let's add her shoes, and we'll give her some arms. Now finally, let's draw her tail, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, this looks really strange. I think it's the fact that she's supposed to be 2D in a 3D game. Also, her head moves really weird, and so do her feet. Okay. Let's spawn a baby Peppa. At least it doesn't have a floating head like the pigs, but it still looks cursed. Let's spawn an army of Peppas. I wonder if I can get them to follow me. Okay, this is really weird. I love how her arms just don't move, but the rest of her body does. Get out of here, sheep. All right, I'm going to give Peppa Pig a five out of 10. She does not look good in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translating, and we got smart. For this one, I think I'm going to make Mega Mind. Let's add a lower part on his head, and we'll color his head blue. Now let's color his body black, and we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth, and we'll add his nose. Now let's add some blue parts to his shirt, and we'll give him a cape. 
Now let's add the cape around his neck, and finally we'll add his shoes. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with his arms. I've never seen this happen before, this is so weird. But other than that, I don't think he looks that bad. He kind of reminds me of when I made Squidward. Let's spawn a baby Megamind. Aw, oh, I was hoping his head would be really big. Let's find a Megamind village. And here we have a bunch of Megaminds and Bowser in their natural habitat. Let's see if Megamind can beat Ferb. Oh wait, Bowser is helping him, that's not fair. Alright, now this is a fair fight. Well, I don't know about fair. Megamind has no weapons. But maybe he can beat him with his massive brain. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm going to give Megamind a 7 out of 10. His arms are broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got pie. For this one, I'll make Pac-Man, because he's shaped like a pie. Let's remove his body, and we'll move his head down. Now let's make his mouth open, and we'll color his head yellow. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll color his mouth black. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a big nose. Now let's give him some shoes, and we'll add his arms, and finally let's color his hands. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, this looks interesting. I don't think his arms look that good because they're frozen. And he doesn't really look like Pac-Man because he is in a circle. But there are no circles in Minecraft, so that's fine. Let's see a supercharged Pac-Man. Oh no, he's going to burn. Alright, this just doesn't fit him at all. Let's spawn an army of Pac-Mans. And let's see if they can defeat this cat. Nope, they're all running away. I guess this cat is the same thing as a ghost. I wonder what Pac-Man looks like when he explodes. Is he supposed to be able to do that? Alright, I'm going to give Pac-Man a 6 out of 10. I didn't really like him. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a salmon. Translate. And we got carp. For this one, I'm going to make Magikarp. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll color him orange. Now let's color in his fins, and we'll color his back fin white. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll color in his mouth. Next, let's add his whiskers, and we'll give him a few fins on the side. And that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, I should probably spawn him in water. Honestly, I'm surprised with how this turned out. He looks really good. I'm not sure why I translated a salmon though. Let's spawn a Magikarp army. Is there a baby salmon? No, there isn't. I wonder if these guys will fight an axolotl. No, but the axolotl will fight them. Let's try to grow him into a Gyarados. Okay, this isn't working. I guess Magikarp is boring in Minecraft as well. I almost forgot the Pokeball test. This doesn't even make sense. How am I throwing snowballs in water? Alright, I'm going to give Magikarp an 8 out of 10. He looks good, but he's boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Hoglin. Translating. And we got Dinosaur. For this one, I think I'll make Rex from Toy Story. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll remove his back legs. Now let's color him green, and we'll give him a neck. Now let's make his mouth look like it's open, and we'll color his mouth black. Next, let's give him some teeth, and we'll give him some eyes, and some nostrils. Now let's add his tiny arms, and we'll color his belly. Now finally, let's add his tail, and I think that looks fine. Let's see him in game. Okay, why is he shaking? Oh yeah, I have to go to the nether. That's better. Okay, his head is definitely not connected to his neck, but honestly, he could have looked worse. Let's see a baby Rex. Okay, the head problem is even worse. Let's spawn an army of Rexes. And now let's see if they can beat Bowser. Okay, they aren't fighting him. Never mind, they're fighting him now. Okay, I think I spawned a few too many for Bowser to have a chance. What about Rex Army versus Figure? Oh my god, they're surrounding him. Okay, the Rex Army couldn't beat Figure, but it was actually close. Alright, I'm going to give Rex a 6 out of 10. He's a little bit broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. What will we get? And we got Bear. For this one, I'm going to make Yogi Bear. Let's color him fully brown, and we'll change the shape of his head. Now let's extend out his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll give him a green hat. Now let's add his tie, and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this doesn't look that bad. Let's see a baby Yogi Bear. This could be Boo Boo. Let's spawn an army of Yogi Bears. Now let's see if they can beat Bowser. I've put Bowser against way too many armies. I feel bad. And it looks like the Yogi Bears are gonna win. Yeah, that was too easy for the Yogi Bears. Now let's see if the Yogi Bears can kill Megamind. Oh, Megamind has desert clothes on. I don't think they're gonna be able to catch him. Yeah, Megamind is just too fast. Wait, no, don't go back. That wasn't very smart of Megamind. Alright, I'm going to give Yogi Bear an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate. And we got purple. For this one, I'm going to make the purple rainbow friend. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll change the shape of his body. Now let's color him purple, and we'll make his weird looking legs. Now let's give him some toes, and we'll copy that to the other side. Next, let's add his arms, and we'll give him a few fingers. Now let's extend out his head, and we'll make it a little bit round. Now finally, let's give him some eyes, 
And we'll add some black pupils inside. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Out of all the mobs to break, somehow this one isn't broken. Surprisingly, I think he looks really good. Okay, these vines need to get out of the way. What about a baby purple? Oh yeah, frogs don't have babies. Let's see purple eat this slime. Never mind, he's not hungry. Oh, never mind, he just attacked him. He looks so weird when he's swimming. Let's spawn an army of purples. Wow, purple jumps so high. The noise they make is really interesting. Let's see if purple can take down orange. Okay, I don't think purple knows how to fight. Let's spawn a bunch of slimes. Okay, they're all too big. I love how there's no animation, the slime just travels to their mouth. Alright, I'm going to give purple a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got Crash. For this one, I'm going to make Crash Bandicoot. Let's color him lighter orange, and we'll extend his ears out a bit. Now let's add his teeth, and we'll give him a little nose. Now let's color his neck area lighter orange, and we'll extend this down to his belly. Now let's give him a couple eyes, and we'll add his eyebrows. Next, let's draw his pants, and we'll give him some shoes. And now let's add his gloves, and finally we'll give him some hair. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, let's see him in game. Oh, that's not right. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I honestly can't tell if this looks good or not, actually. Why is he going in the water? Let's see a baby crash. Oh my god, his head is so big. Come on, sit down, I know you want to. Okay, never mind, I guess he wants to kill these chickens. Yo, he's trying to trick shot them. I wonder what he looks like with speed 2. Oh, he's sitting now. Yo, he is so fast with speed 2. Let's spawn a crash bandicoot army. And let's see them all try to kill this chicken. They're so confused, they have no idea how to get up. Let's help them out. Oh my god, they all jumped at the same time. Alright, I give Crash Bandicoot an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a B. Translating. And we got I. For this one, I think I'll make eyes from Roblox doors. Let's delete all this, and we'll completely change his shape. Now let's color it dark purple, and we'll make the body circular. Now let's extend it out a bit on the sides, and we'll draw his eyes, and we'll make a bunch of different color pupils. Now let's extend out the sides a bit more, and that doesn't actually look that bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, why is this thing chasing me? I don't know what to say about this one. It looks kind of scary. Let's spawn a baby eyes. Okay, that's not as bad. Let's spawn an army of eyes. It looks kind of like an army of viruses. Let's see if the eyes army can kill me. They're just slowly chasing me. This is so weird. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It looks like an army of futuristic security drones. Oh no, I'm getting hit. Alright, I'm going to give eyes an 8 out of 10. It looks really weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. Translate. And we got Link. For this one, I'm going to make Link. Let's color his shirt green. And we'll color his pants white. Now let's color his head and we'll color his arms. Next, let's give him some hair, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's add his hat, and we'll give him a belt. Now let's extend his shirt over his legs, and finally, we'll add some shoes. All right, that looks kind of weird. Let's see it in game. Okay, he looks all right. I don't really think his face turned out that good, honestly. Let's go find him in the nether. Okay, yeah, this looks really bad. What about baby Link? Yeah, that's not much better. Let's spawn an army of Links. Wait, why are they all running away? Oh, I think they're scared of the zombie piglin. At least they look a bit better with swords. Let's get chased by the Link army. Okay, they're all killing each other. Oh my god, there's so much fire over here. Now all the Links are burning. Alright, I'm going to give Link a 4 out of 10. He doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate, and we got Squirrel. For this one, I think I'm going to make Sandy from Spongebob. Let's color her body white, and we'll make her head smaller. Next, let's extend out her cheeks, and we'll color her head. Now let's give her some eyes, and we'll add her mouth. Next, let's draw her squirrel teeth, and we'll give her a nose. Next, let's add her ears, and we'll add her helmet. Now let's draw the flower on her helmet, and we'll draw the acorn on her shirt. Now let's give her a tail, and finally we'll add her shoes. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Honestly, that looks pretty good. I'm surprised nothing went wrong. Her helmet is a little small, but honestly, she looks really good. Let's see a baby Sandy. Definitely a better size for a squirrel. Let's spawn an army of Sandys. And let's see if they can beat a zombie villager. I don't think Sandy really wants to fight it. Even though they ran away, the Sandys still won the fight. Let's bring Sandy to her home underwater. Wait, how is she drowning? She has her helmet on. I guess squirrels don't belong underwater. Alright, I'm going to give Sandy a 9 out of 10. She turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translating, and we got egg. For this one, I'm going to make Dr. Eggman. Let's extend out his body, and we'll make his legs a bit smaller. 
Now let's color his shirt red, and we'll color his pants black. Now let's color in his head, and we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth, and a nose. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll add the goggles on his forehead. Now let's give him some gloves, and we'll add some extra details to his shirt. Now let's extend his shirt down a bit, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think we're done, let's see him in game. Honestly, he turned out really good. Nothing is broken on him too, what is going on? Dr. Eggman vs. Tails, who will win? Okay, I don't think they fight. Let's see if Dr. Eggman can stop this zombie from eating Sandy. Okay, that was too fast. Now let's see if Dr. Eggman is strong enough to beat the Warden. Okay, Dr. Eggman isn't that strong. Let's spawn an army of Dr. Eggmans. Now let's see if this army can beat the Warden. Okay, they're pushing him in the water. Dang, the Warden is going crazy. Okay, the Warden just forgot how to hit them. Alright, I'm going to give Dr. Eggman a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Alien. For this one, I think I'll make the Alien from Toy Story. Let's shrink his body, and we'll remove his back legs. Now let's move his head, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's color his head green, and we'll give him three eyes. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him some ears, and we'll also add the thing on his head. Now let's draw his belt, and we'll add the logo on his shirt. Next, let's give him some arms, and we'll add his fingers. Now finally, we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, surprisingly, this actually worked. His body is a little bit glitchy, but I think he turned out really good. Now let's see if the baby is broken. Okay, we'll just pretend that this doesn't exist. Like, why is his head floating? Let's spawn an army of aliens. And now let's see them chase me. This is kind of scary, they're moving fast. What if I give them speed too? Oh my god, they're way too fast, I'm going to get abducted. This is way too cursed, Mojang please never add this. To be fair, I don't know why they would. Alright, I'm going to give the alien a 10 out of 10, he was really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate, and we got alphabet. For this one, I think I'm going to make F from alphabet lore. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll drag this up. Now let's color him black, and we'll add another line facing horizontal. Now let's copy this down, and we'll give him some teeth. Now let's add his eye, and we'll rotate his other eye. Now I think I'm going to make his eyelids a bit bigger, and I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Okay, that actually looks kinda good. He doesn't even look too bad when he's moving. Even his jumping doesn't look that bad. Let's see if F can swim. Oh, he's swimming fast. Let's watch F eat the slime. Okay, he trickshotted him. Now let's spawn an army of Fs. They all keep jumping. Now let's spawn more slimes and watch them eat them. Why does it always spawn big slimes? Okay, it doesn't look that cool when they eat them. Alright, I'm going to give F a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a ghast. Translating. And we got door. For this one, I'll make ambush from Roblox doors. Let's remove all the legs. And we'll shrink down his body. Now let's shape his body a little bit. And we'll color him white. And we'll give him some eyes. And a mouth. Next, we'll add his teeth. And we'll add some green spots to his face. Now we'll color the bottom of him darker green. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, he's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my god, this is scary. He keeps coming towards me. Let's go find ambush in the nether. Okay, I don't see any ambushes flying around in here. Honestly, I think this is better than the actual ghast. Let's spawn a baby ambush. Okay, why did I think there's a baby ghast? Let's spawn an army of ambushes. Okay, this is way too many. If I saw this, I would never go to the nether again. Let's try to fight the ambush army. Oh, I actually killed one. Okay, I'm literally just stuck in this cave. Alright, I'm going to give ambush a 9 out of 10. He was very scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. What will we get? And we got adventure. For this one, I'm going to make Finn from Adventure Time. Let's shrink his head, and we'll color it white. Now let's color his shirt blue, and we'll color his legs darker blue. Next, let's draw his face, and we'll give him some eyes, and a little smile. Now let's add his ears, and we'll color his arms. Next, let's color his legs as well, and we'll give him some shoes. Now let's add his backpack, and we'll color it green. And finally, let's add some straps. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Oh, we spawned in an amethyst cave. Honestly, this actually looks pretty good. Somehow, I'm pretty sure there still hasn't been a broken mob this entire video. Let's spawn an army of fins. Okay, I can't take him seriously with the bow, he just doesn't look hostile. Let's see if the fin army can beat Dr. Eggman. Of course, they're all shooting each other. Okay, Dr. Eggman is taking some damage, but will it be enough to kill him? Dang, the Finn army actually won. I guess I underestimated their bow skills. Alright, I'm going to give Finn a 9 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a silverfish. Translate, 
and we got mushroom. For this one, I think I'll make a Goomba. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll give him a few legs. Now let's color his legs brown, and we'll color his stem a lighter brown. Now let's add his head, and we'll make it curve up a little bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we will add his angry eyebrows. Next, let's give him a mouth, and finally we'll add a few teeth. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in-game. Wait, where did he go? Oh yeah, Silverfish liked to go into the stone. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He doesn't really have a walking animation, but I guess that's okay. I think he really likes this wall. I'm trying to stomp on him, but it's not working. This must be a special Goomba. Let's spawn an army of Goombas. Mario better watch out, this is a lot of Goombas. Let's see if they can defeat Dr. Eggman, cause that's the closest thing we have to Mario. It's not looking like they have any chance of winning. Although this one is really good at running. Wait, how did he kill him from there? Yeah, Goomba is probably not the strongest Minecraft mob. Alright, I'm going to give Goomba an 8 out of 10, he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translating, and we got Red. For this one, I'm going to make the Red Rainbow Friend. Let's remove his hair, and we'll shrink his body. Now let's make him a bit shorter, and we'll give him some arms. Next, let's color his body white, and we'll color his pants black. Now let's give him a head, and we'll color his head red. Next, let's make his head a bit round, and we'll give him some eyes, and let's color his pupils black. Now let's draw the shirt under his lab coat, and we'll add his tie. Now let's give him some hands, and finally we'll give him a couple shoes. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with his legs. But other than that, I think he looks good. Oh god, why does it take so long for his legs to turn? Let's go to the nether. And here we have a red walking on some lava. Okay, seriously, what happened to his legs? It's like they're backwards or something. I mean, now they're on the right side, but somehow that made it worse. Okay, that's close enough. We're just gonna ignore that. Let's ride a red. Wait, this is the wrong fishing rod. Okay, this looks weird like it usually does. Let's see a baby red. Okay, baby red just has no legs. Let's spawn an army of reds. Okay, red army, follow me. Isn't this weird? Because red is supposed to tell me what to do. Alright, I'm going to give red an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. What will we get? And we got Fighter. For this one, I think I'll make Goku. Let's color his body orange, and we'll color his head. Now let's give him a mouth, and some eyes. Next, let's add his nose, and we'll extend his hair out on the sides, and we'll do the same on the top. Now let's color the neck of his shirt blue, and we'll also add his belt. Now let's color his arms, and we'll draw the symbol on his chest. Next, let's add a bit more details to his arms, and finally we'll give him some shoes. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, that is definitely not what we want. Like seriously, how does this even happen? Okay, that looks a lot better. Well, I don't know about better. His face looks kind of weird. Let's see if Goku can catch Sandy. Dang, Sandy is really fast. Oh, he finally got her. I was about to give up. Let's spawn an army of Gokus. And now let's see if they can beat Dr. Eggman. Okay, Goku is way too powerful. Dr. Eggman had no chance. Alright, I'm going to give Goku a 7 out of 10. He could have looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translate, and we got fire. For this one, I'm going to make Charizard. Let's color his body fully orange, and we'll turn these spikes into his ears. Now let's color his head orange, and we'll make his mouth light red. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll also add his eyes. Next, let's color the sides of his wings orange, and we'll make these gray parts orange as well, and we'll make the black parts dark aqua. Now let's color his belly lighter orange, and we'll add his tail. Now let's color the bottom of his tail, and finally we'll add some fire to the end of his tail. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Although I have no idea why he has two tails. He didn't even have a tail in block bench. Also his neck looks different as well, that's so weird. Let's see if we can catch Charizard in a Pokeball. Alright, it's not working. Charizard is probably more of a Master Ball type anyway. Okay, Charizard is perching. Just imagine he is breathing fire right now. Alright, I'm going to give Charizard an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating, and we got Seek. For this one, I think we have to make Seek from Roblox Stores. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body smaller. Now let's also shrink his legs, and we'll make his arms smaller as well. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color him fully black. Now let's draw his eye, and we'll expand his face out on the side a little bit. Finally, let's add some red spots on his body, and we'll put a few on his legs. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. We'll just act like I didn't forget to texture the bottom of the head. Honestly, I think this looks pretty good. I think his proportions are kind of off though. Yo, why is he attacking the sheep? 
What did the sheep do? Let's find Seek in the deep dark. And of course, we'll watch him emerge from the ground. Oh, he's kind of stuck in a block. This would be way more terrifying than the warden. Imagine you're walking around in a cave and then you see this thing chasing you. Let's spawn an army of Seeks. And let's see if they can defeat the Wither. Oh no, they're already surrounding the Wither. Oh my god, the Wither is getting launched. Yeah, the Wither literally has no chance. I don't think the Wither even killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Seek an 8 out of 10. He could have been better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got penguin. For this one, I think I'm going to make one of the penguins of Madagascar. Let's remove his head and back legs. Now let's make his body bigger. And we'll color his body white. Now let's color his feet orange. And we'll extend his head out a bit. Now let's color his sides and back black. And we'll add a bit more detail on his head. Now let's give him some eyes. And we'll extend out his beak. Now let's color his beak orange. And we'll extend it out a bit more. Now let's give him some arms. And we'll color his arms black. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, he actually looks kind of good. For some reason, his face seems really accurate. Although I don't think penguins live in the jungle, we should bring him somewhere colder. This is much better. Let's spawn an army of penguins. And of course, we have to see a supercharged penguin. How are you on fire with all the snow around you? Honestly, you can barely even see the charge because of the snow. Let's blow up a penguin. Rip the bunny. I wonder if the penguins can beat a cat. Okay, the cat isn't even chasing them. This is stupid. Alright, I'm going to give the penguin an 8 out of 10. I think he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate. And we got Sasquatch. For this one, I think I'll make Chewbacca. Let's color him fully brown. And we'll extend out the bottom of his face a bit. Now let's add his eyes. And we'll give him a nose. And we'll add his mouth underneath. Now let's add the strap across his chest. And we'll do the same on his back. Next, let's make some parts of his body darker brown. And we'll add some detail to his head. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Alright, something about him looks kind of weird. I think his mouth looks more like a dog than anything. Although, I'm pretty sure Chewbacca is part dog or something, so I don't know. Let's spawn a baby Chewbacca. Okay, I don't really like his big head. Let's spawn an army of Chewbaccas. And let's see if they can beat Seek. Okay, I don't think the Chewbaccas are fighting Seek. What about Chewbacca army versus Dr. Eggman? Dr. Eggman is getting destroyed. Dr. Eggman was no match for the Chewbacca army. Alright, I'm going to give Chewbacca an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a wolf. Translating. And we got orange. For this one, I think I'm going to make the orange rainbow friend. Let's change the shape of his tail. And we'll also make his body smaller. Now let's color him orange. And we'll rotate his body. Next, let's make his legs smaller. And we'll finish his tail. Now let's give him some arms. And let's make his mouth look like it's open. Next, we'll color the inside of his mouth. And we'll give him some teeth. Okay, these are way too big. That looks better. Now let's give him some eyes. And finally, we'll give him some fingers and toes. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys see the problem here. That should be good enough. Okay, his head definitely does not work though. I guess wolves bend their head a lot. Let's spawn a baby orange. It's the same thing with a bigger head. Let's try to tame orange. Yeah, this is perfectly normal. Nothing is wrong here. Now he just has a big red square and his tail is broken. Let's spawn an army of oranges. And let's see them take down a skeleton. Okay, the skeleton got eaten in like two seconds. Come on, orange. Take down the warden. Oh no, that was fast. Alright, I'm going to give orange a 6 out of 10. He was kinda cursed. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got Cookie. For this one, I'm going to make Cookie Monster. Let's make his arms bigger, and we'll also make his legs bigger. Now let's extend out his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's make his head a bit bigger, and we'll make his mouth look like it's open. Now let's color the back of his mouth black, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's give him some feet, and finally we'll give him some fingers. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. He needs to put down the bow though. I wonder if I can give him a cookie to make him stop. It doesn't look like he's interested in my cookies. What if we give him a Sandy instead? Okay, Cookie Monster's aim is really bad. Come on, Cookie Monster, you can do it. Okay, that was a nice shot. Dang, never mind. Cookie Monster, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. Let's spawn an army of Cookie Monsters. Now let's see if they can beat Seek. Okay, nobody wants to fight Seek. Let's see if they can beat Orange. Okay, Orange didn't even have a chance. At least he killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Cookie Monster a 7 out of 10. He was kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob mob is an enderman. Translate. And we got tree. For this one, I think I'll make Groot. Let's make his body a bit bigger, and we'll do the same for his arms, and his legs. Now let's color his body brown, and we'll change the shape of his head. Now let's color his head as well, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll add the branches to his head. Now let's add the branches on his shoulder, 
and we'll give his body some green details. And I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Okay, this is one of the worst mobs I've made yet. He just literally has no detail. Okay, he's stealing the grass block. Wait, where is he going? Let's go find Groot in the end. Okay, there's way too many Groots in here. I wonder what he looks like when he's angry. Okay, it's just the usual floating head. Let's get chased by an army of Groots. I gotta heal to full health first. Okay, how are they already hitting me? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Groot army, relax, I'm sorry. Charizard, please help me. Okay, they caught me. Alright, I'm going to give Groot a 4 out of 10. He doesn't look that good in Minecraft. What is a horse? Translate. And we got train. For this one, I think I'm going to make Choo Choo Charles. Let's remove all this stuff, and then we'll add a back part like this. Now let's color these pieces in, and we'll add the circular parts on the front. Now let's add his face, and we'll give him a mouth, and some eyes. Next, let's add some detail on the side, and we'll give him some legs like this. And now let's add them on the other side. Next, let's add his wheels, and finally we'll add a few details on the top. And I think we're done let's see it in game i'm not gonna lie i expected him to be a lot bigger i wonder what baby choo choo charles looks like he's kind of fast actually i was just hoping he was bigger this is kind of disappointing let's ride a choo choo charles okay i think there's a problem it looks like i'm flying he's actually kind of fast though so this is cool let's spawn an army of choo choo charles's now let's stack them never mind it won't let me stack them they keep kicking each other off i wonder if they'll fight each other nope it appears choo choo charles doesn't fight choo choo charles in minecraft is kind of boring. Alright, I'm going to give Choo Choo Charles a 7 out of 10. He looks good, but he's really small. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating. And we got Buff Green. For this one, let's make the Hulk. Let's remove this stuff, and we'll make him a little bit taller. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color him fully green. Next, let's give him some purple shorts, and we'll make them look ripped on the bottom. Next, let's give him some neck muscles, and we'll add his green hair. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll give him some eyes, and a nose. Now finally, let's add a little more detail. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, he is really big. Our first mob was too small and now this one's too big okay he walks really weird too what is this also his legs are missing texture but i'm not fixing that let's go find hulk in the deep dark okay his head is kind of going everywhere that kind of looked weird i won't lie now let's see if the hulk can beat a gorilla okay he literally one shot him what about 10 gorillas versus the hulk okay some of the big ones just aren't fighting yeah that was still too easy for the hulk i guess i'm gonna have to step in that did a lot of damage how did that not kill me? Okay, the Hulk is too powerful. Alright, I'm going to give the Hulk a 7 out of 10. His animations are broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got Squid. For this one, I think I'll make Squidward. Let's make his legs smaller, and we'll do the same for his arms. Now let's color him fully blue, and we'll give him a head. Now let's add his smile, and we'll rotate his nose. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll color in his shirt. Now let's add some details to his shirt, and we'll give him some tentacles on his hand. Now let's add his tentacles on his legs and i think we're done let's see this in game what are these things i wonder if squidward can kill them okay this is the weirdest fight i've ever seen who will win like for squidward and subscribe for the dinosaur Bruh. things okay squidward died that means you have to subscribe we never even really looked at squidward but i think he looks good i'm not sure why the gray thing is attached to his nose though that looks better his legs look kind of weird when he walks but i guess that's fine let's spawn an army of squidwards why do they always aim their bow at me in creative mode it's time for the squidward army to get revenge on the dinosaur thing okay what is the dinosaur doing now all the squidwards are just shooting each other okay at least none of them died in a third ev1 all right i'm going to give squidward a 9 out of 10 he looks pretty good it's time for the next mob the next mob is a chicken translate and we got tall duck for this one i think i'll make daffy duck let's rearrange his body parts and we'll make his body a little bit round now let's give him a neck and we'll add his head next let's give him a beak and we'll draw his eyes and we'll add some eyelids above that now let's add this white part on his neck, and we'll rotate his left arm like this, and now we'll rotate his right arm like this. Next, let's color in his feet. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, his arms are completely messed up. I'm not even going to try to fix that. I don't know what's going on. Let's spawn a baby Daffy Duck. Not much better, honestly. He looks good if you ignore the arms, though, I guess. Let's spawn an army of Daffy Ducks. I don't understand how their hand ended up all the way over here. Wait, are these buffaloes? Nope, they're bisons. Let's see if a Daffy Duck jockey can beat a bison. I don't know if the bison fights back. I love how the baby is just following them around. Wait, they killed the bison. Honestly, I didn't think the Daffy Duck jockey would win. What is he still shooting at? Alright, I'm going to give Daffy Duck a 6 out of 10. He looks good, but he's really broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translating. And we got Will. For this one, I'm going to make Killy Willy. 
Let's make his legs bigger, and we'll do the same for his arms. Now let's add the red thing on his chest, and we'll give it some teeth. Next, let's shape his head, and we'll give him a mouth. Now let's add some teeth to his mouth, and we'll give him an eye in the middle. And now let's add some eyes on the outside. Next, we'll give him some hands. And finally, let's give him some feet. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. He actually looks pretty good. Of course, I put both feet on the same side. I think I'm gonna turn off these particles. They look kind of weird. Okay, that makes him look a lot better. Let's see a Killy Willy riding another Killy Willy. This is perfectly normal. Let's spawn an army of Killy Willies. Okay, that's a lot of them. Alright, I'm going to give Killy Willy an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Iron Golem. What will we get? And we got Chief. For this one, I think I'm going to make Master Chief. Let's change the shape of his body, and we'll color his body green. Next, let's give him his mask, and we'll color the outside green. Now let's add the yellow part on the inside, and we'll add some gray details to his mask. Next, let's put more details on his legs, and we'll also add some to his arms. Now let's give him some feet, and let's add some texture. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I think this is the first time today there's been no problems. Okay, never mind, I messed up his shoulder. Let's spawn an army of Master Chiefs. Oh god, that was almost bad. Now let's see if the Master Chief army can beat a Squidward army. Okay, I kind of already knew they could, I just wanted to see it happen. What about the Master Chief army versus a Hulk army? I only spawned a few Hulks to give them a chance. Okay, maybe I spawned too many Hulks, it's not looking good. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of the Hulks even died. Alright, I'm going to give Master Chief a 9 out of 10, he looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got Lion. For this one, I'll make Simba from the Lion King. Let's change the shape of his legs, and we'll color his body orange. I think we should remove his udders. Next, let's color in his head, and we'll start giving him some hair, and we'll extend his hair down a little bit like this. Next, let's extend out his mouth, and we'll add his nose. Now, let's give him some eyes, and some eyebrows, and we'll also draw his mouth. Now, let's give him some whiskers, and we'll add his feet. Now, finally, let's give him a tail. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Kinda weird how his head follows me though. Somehow I managed to make the cow look intimidating. Let's see a baby Simba. I don't know if he's supposed to have all this hair as a baby, but I think it's fine. Let's see if Simba can beat an actual lion. Never mind, there aren't any lions in this mod. I guess a tiger will do. Okay, that was fast. Yo, he's emoting on him. If I was Simba, I wouldn't take that personally. Let's spawn an army of Simbas. And now let's stack them on top of each other. This is definitely interesting. I wonder why you can't find this in vanilla Minecraft. Alright, I'm going to give Simba a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating. And we got blocks. For this one, let's make a Roblox character. Let's make his arm bigger, and we'll color his legs in green. Now let's color his arms yellow, and we'll color his shirt blue. Next, let's make his head yellow, and we'll make his head a little bit round. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's bend his arms a bit, and we'll do the same for his legs. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, we should probably make it nighttime. I kind of forgot that his arms would be up like this. This looks kind of weird. But other than that, he looks good. I've added many things from Roblox to Minecraft, but surprisingly this is my first time adding the Roblox Steve skin. I wonder what the baby Roblox character looks like. Yeah, his head is way too big, let's delete this. Let's spawn an army of Robloxes. And now let's see if they can beat Master Chief. Okay, there's no way Master Chief is winning this. He's killing them so slowly. Roblox is just too OP. Now let's see if they can beat a Rhinoceros. Okay, the Rhino is ready. He's going crazy on this guy. Yo, he's fighting three at the same time. Since when did the drowns join the fight? Okay, it appears they're stuck. Oh, the Robloxes are turning into drowns. I was so confused. Okay, this isn't working. They won't leave the water. Alright, I'm going to give the Roblox character a 7 out of 10. I don't really like his arms. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got Space Fox. For this one, I think I'm going to make Ratchet. Let's remove his front legs, and we'll move his body to make him stand on two legs. Now let's color his shirt, and we'll also color in his pants. Next, let's give him a mouth, and we'll color his head. Now let's give him some ears, and we'll add his eyes, and some eyebrows. Next, let's give him his hat, and we'll add his arms. Now let's give him some gloves, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Alright, he doesn't look too bad. Never mind, there's something wrong with his head. Okay, what is this? This is worse. Okay, I fixed his head. Yo, he's going crazy on Daffy Duck. I think he's holding that chicken, I honestly can't tell. Let's see if Ratchet can take down a raccoon. Yo, the raccoon is going kinda crazy. Okay, Ratchet won that somehow. Let's spawn a Ratchet army. Okay, they need to stop doing this, what is this? Now let's see if the Ratchet army can beat a raccoon army. 
Okay, I can only make them fight one single raccoon. That sucks. All right, I'm going to give Ratchet a 7 out of 10. He was kind of broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate. And we got Toad. For this one, let's make Toad from Mario. Let's delete his back legs, and we'll shrink his legs. Now let's make his body smaller, and we'll color his shoes. Now let's color his pants, and let's also color his body, and his head. Now let's give him a mouth, and some eyes, and we'll add his hat. Now let's add his blue shirt, and I think I'm gonna change his mouth. Now let's add the circles on his hat, and finally we'll give him some arms. And I think that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. Okay, something is wrong with his legs. Of course something is wrong, when isn't it? Okay, that's fixed enough for me. Other than the foot problem, he actually looks pretty good. Let's see a supercharged toad. The charge actually kind of fits him, it's not bad. Let's see if a supercharged toad can one-shot a crocodile. Okay, I guess it can. Let's spawn an army of toads. And let's see them fight an actual toad. A really weird looking toad. Okay, the toad had no chance, he got one shot. Although all the other toads died too. Alright, I'm going to give Toad a 7 out of 10, he looks okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. Translating. And we got Talking Dog. For this one, I think I'll make Brian from Family Guy. Let's delete this stuff, and we'll make him a bit shorter. Now let's color him fully white, and we'll extend out his face. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll add his ears. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his red collar. Now let's add the gold dog tag underneath, and we'll give him some fingers, and some feet. Now finally, let's add his tail, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. Not sure why he still has an ear, though. That looks a little bit better. Oh yeah, we should go to the nether. Okay, here is Brian in the nether wearing some really big pants. Let's give him some different drip instead. That looks a lot better, now he's ready for battle. Let's spawn an army of Brian's. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the baby Brian. He just looks weird. Now let's see if they can beat the Mothman. Okay, I'm not sure what the Mothman is doing, he's kinda just eating shots. Never mind, he's going crazy now, what is this attack? Wait, he's gonna win this. Okay, he just retreated with 3 left. Alright, I'm going to give Brian an 8 out of 10, he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. What will we get? And we got mouse. For this one, I think I'll make Jerry. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll extend his body up. Now let's color him brown, and we'll give him a new head. Now let's extend out his mouth area, and we'll give him a mouth, and a nose. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him some ears. Next let's draw his whiskers, and we'll color in his belly. Now finally let's give him some arms, and that doesn't look too bad, let's see it in game. Okay, that doesn't look that bad. I have no idea why he's sideways though. Also the way he is walking is kinda weird. Whatever, this is fine I guess. Let's see a baby Jerry. He's not much smaller somehow. Now let's see if Jerry can beat Ratchet. Okay, Jerry had no chance, he died in one second. Maybe he just needs a bodyguard. Okay, what is going on? I guess not even the bodyguards can save him. Let's spawn an army of Jerry's. Okay, Ratchet is still just killing them. I'm just gonna let it happen. Jerry doesn't look that great anyway. Alright, I'm going to give Jerry a 6 out of 10. He looks alright. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got Aardvark. For this one, let's make Arthur. Let's color his shirt yellow, and we'll color his pants blue, and we'll color in his hands. Now let's color in his head, and we'll give him some ears. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth, and some nostrils. Now let's draw his glasses, and we'll give his shirt a white collar. Now let's give him some red shoes, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. I found the Simba Tower, and it's gotten significantly smaller. Anyways, Arthur looks fine. His face looks kind of goofy, though. Let's see a baby Arthur. I think he looks better when he's smaller. Let's watch Arthur get chased by Master Chief. Wait, I forgot that Master Chief is the Iron Golem. Let's watch Arthur get chased by the Roblox character. Now Arthur could actually win because Roblox is going to burn. All Arthur has to do is move, which it doesn't look like he's doing. Okay, Arthur just barely got away, only to die to a tiger right after. Let's find an Arthur village. Okay, there's just no Arthurs in this village. I guess I have to spawn some of my own. Okay, maybe that's too many for a village. Alright, I'm going to give Arthur a 7 out of 10. He looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translating, and we got weekday. For this one, I'm going to make Wednesday Adams. Let's remove her hat, and we'll change the shape of her head. Now let's add her hair, and we'll give her some eyes, and a mouth. Now let's make her arms and legs smaller, and we'll color her shirt brown, and let's also color her pants. Next let's add her braids, and we'll give her a white collar. Now let's add her hands, 
and we'll add the white spot on her dress. Now finally, let's give her some shoes. And I think we're done. Let's see her in game. Okay, I think there's something wrong with her arms. And also her feet. Okay, that's much better. I had to give her different arms, but they honestly look better. Let's see if Wednesday can beat a whatever this thing is. Okay, it doesn't look like they're able to fight because of this house. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, this doesn't look fair for the flying worm. I don't even think the flying thing was able to attack. Let's try Wednesday versus an elephant. Okay, it looks like she somehow got the elephant stuck. Okay, never mind, she died. But how could you expect her to beat this giant elephant? Let's spawn an army of Wednesdays. Now let's see if they can beat Master Chief. Okay, I don't think they want to fight. Let's fix that. Okay, now Master Chief is taking a lot of damage. And the Wednesdays won that one easily. Alright, I'm going to give Wednesday an 8 out of 10. She looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither. What will we get? And we just got X. For this one, let's make Alphabet Lore letter X. Let's delete everything except one of the heads. And we'll shrink it down like this. Now let's color it white. And we'll rotate it in the shape of an X. Next, let's add these purple things on the top, and we'll give him some eyebrows, and some eyes, and we'll also add his mouth. Now, finally, let's add the purple things in the back, and we'll give him some texture. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, he still has the wither shape around him, but other than that, he looks pretty good. Okay, now he's just attacking these ratchets for no reason. Let's change that. Let's see if he can beat the void worm. Okay, I have no idea what's going on right now. This is kind of like a Pokemon battle. I'm not sure if the void worm does anything, though. Wait, never mind. What is he doing? Okay, there's more void worms now. What is going on? I don't think X has any chance of beating this. The void worm is too powerful. Yeah, X is getting destroyed. I guess the void worm is the most powerful mob. It even makes these cool portals. Now let's see if the void worm can beat the Hulk. I don't even think the Hulk has a chance because the void worm is flying. Never mind, Hulk did a decent amount of damage. Okay, the Hulk is kind of stuck now. Okay, now there's actually more than one Hulk. What happened? They actually killed the void worm. But to be fair, it took four Hulks to do it. Alright, I'm going to give X a 9 out of 10. He looked really good. Warden. Translate. And we got 10 demons. For this one, I think I'm going to make a 10-headed demon. Let's start by deleting some of the stuff we don't need. And then I'm going to make this part of his body a little smaller. Now let's add another part on the bottom. And we'll start to give him some new feet. And let's copy it over to the other side. Now we'll start to give him some new arms. And we'll give him some hands on the bottom as well. And now it's time to start working on his heads. Let's start by making this cube a lot smaller. And we'll give him an ear like this. Now let's start to shape the bottom of his head a little more demon-like. And finally, we'll give him some eyes. And now we need to color this guy in, because obviously we aren't going to use these colors. So let's color his whole body light red. And we'll color his eyes a lightish yellow. Now let's give him some brown eyebrows right here. And we'll give him some scary teeth like this. And now let's just add a bit of texture all around his head. And let's copy this head all around his body until he has 10 heads. Okay, so we only have 6 heads, but it's all we can fit. So it's going to be a 6-headed demon instead. Alright, now let's add a cloth type thing so he has some pants. And we'll just start adding some texture all around his body. Now let's add a belt on top of his clothes. And finally, we'll add a bit more texture. And I think this guy is looking really good. Let's see him in game. This is how the six-headed demon looks in game. This guy actually looks really good. I also added a fire trail when he walks, as you can see, and that makes him look especially cool. The six-headed demon is really powerful, and he gives you potion effects before he even attacks you. Then when you get attacked by him, it sets you on fire and summons a lightning bolt as well. So basically, killing this guy is going to be really difficult, just like the actual warden. The six-headed demon also comes in two colors, as there is a soul fire demon as well. Although I think the red one looks a lot better. If you right-click the six-headed demon, he gets really angry as you can see, but I'm pretty sure that's just his reaction to you not subscribing. Bro. Overall, I think the six-headed demon looks really good, and he's probably one of my favorite mobs of all time. So because of that, I'm obviously gonna give him a 10 out of 10. He's just too good. Next, we'll translate a villager. What will we get? And we got one day. One day that's coming up is Halloween, so I think I'm gonna make a reaper with a pumpkin head. Let's delete some of the stuff we don't need, and we'll make his legs a little bit smaller. Now let's move his body up, and we'll make his legs longer as well. Next, let's give him a neck, and we'll start giving him some new legs. Now let's give him a shoe like this, and that's looking pretty good, so let's work on his arms. Let's bend his arms out like this, and we'll give him a little hand on the end of it, and now let's copy this over to the other side. Next, let's work on his pumpkin head. We'll shape the head into a pumpkin like this, and next we'll start to add a carved out face on his head as well. Now let's add a little stem on top, and this is looking pretty good, so let's Let's give him some color. First, we'll color his shirt black, and we'll do the same for his pants. Now, let's color the pumpkin completely orange, and we'll color the stem green as well. Now, I'm gonna overlay his shirt a bit to make it look kind of torn up, and we'll do this on the arms as well. Now, finally, let's add his Reaper Scythe, and this guy's looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the Halloween guy looks in game. That's what I ended up naming him, Halloween guy. But yeah, he actually looks pretty good. I will say the shaders make his clothes look a little bit boring, though. There was way more color in Blockbench. But to make up for it, I made him.
them make witch noises, which makes them seem pretty scary. The witch noises aren't the only scary thing, though, because when the Halloween guy sees you, he instantly turns it to night and strikes lightning all around him. His attack is also pretty scary, as he literally just teleports around you until you're dead. The good news is, he's not nearly as powerful as the six-headed demon, though. He gets two shot by him. If you kill the Halloween guy, he drops his scythe, which is definitely not just an iron hoe. It's the scythe that he's holding for sure. And overall, I think the Halloween guy definitely looks good, and his abilities fit him really well, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well. The next mob is a pillager. Let's translate this. And we got It Was Terrible. The first time I made one of these videos, I made Sonic and it looked really bad, so I think I'm gonna make Sonic. So first, let's make his body a little bit smaller, and next we'll completely change the shape of his legs like this. Now let's give him his shoes as well, and we'll rotate this leg a little bit more and copy it over to the other side. Now let's make his arms a lot more skinny like this, and we'll rotate this part up a bit and also give him a hand. And I think this body looks good, so now let's move on to his head. First, we'll add a little mouth area like this, and we'll add the rest of his head on the back like this. Now let's add an area for his eyes on the top, and we'll also give him a nose. Alright, now let's give him some ears on the top, and we'll just add his hair on the back as well, and we'll copy this hair over to the other side. Okay, now I think it's time to give this guy some color. So let's color most of his body this blue color, and then we'll color some of his body parts a different color as well. Now let's give him some white hands, and we'll also color part of his shoes, and let's make the other part of his shoes red like this. Now finally, let's give him some eyes, and we'll just add a little bit of texture all around his body. Alright, I think this guy looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Sonic looks in game. He looks way better than the original Sonic I made. Sonic is also really fast, obviously, and I gave him a Sonic-like animation when he runs. It's basically just a Naruto run, but we'll just ignore that. When Sonic attacks an enemy, I also gave him an animation of him rolling up into a ball, which looks especially cool if he's hunting for coins. Ignore what happens when you put a bunch of coins in a row, though. This is weird. If you kill Sonic, he drops Sonic boots, which when worn, gives you speed 4, basically turning you into Sonic. This is also what happens if you hold out one of these rings, so Sonic adds a lot of speed to the game. Sonic is also able to beat the Halloween guy in a fight, which is not really what I expected. I thought he would do worse. The six-headed demon is still undefeated, though, and probably will be for a while. Overall, I think Sonic looks pretty good in game, so I decided to give him a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a piglin. What will we get? And we got feel tired. If you feel tired, it's probably your bedtime, so I'm going to make a clock man. Let's start by removing his ears, and I'm gonna split his legs into two like this, and I'll also bend them as well. Now let's give him a shoe, and we'll copy this to the other side. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll also bend his arm a little bit, and we'll copy this to the other side too. Now this body is looking good, so let's work on his head. First, we'll give him a neck to connect it to his body, and we'll make this cube a lot bigger, because this is where the clocks will be. Now let's also add his hat on top like this, and I think that's looking good, so it's time to color him in. I'm going to color his body dark gray like this, and we'll make it slightly darker for his pants. Now let's color his shoes and his hat as well, and finally we'll color the clock this color for now. And now it's time to start adding the clock. And let's add the hands on it like this. Now we'll add a few more details to his suit, and we'll give him a trench coat like this. And let's add a belt over top as well. Now finally let's give this guy some texture. And I think that turned out good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the clock man in game. It turns out he is a large clock man, so I made sure I changed that on his boss bar. But he does look pretty cool in game, although his head is kind of big compared to the rest of his body. When the clock man gets in a fight, he changes the time of day every time he hits an enemy. This ends up making it really weird when he fights the Halloween guy. The clock man also drops a suspicious clock when he dies, and if you right click the suspicious clock, you can instantly change the time of day as well. This definitely is way too OP of an item though, as it basically makes beds useless. But it's still cool because it mimics his attack. But yeah, that's all there really is to the clock man, there aren't many features that come with him. I still think he looks pretty good though, so because of that I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. The next mob is a zombie. Translate, and we got bathroom. For this one, I think I'm going to combine a toilet with a zombie. So first, let's change his body into the base of a toilet, and we'll start to build the shape of a toilet like this. Now let's add the toilet seat right here, and we'll also add the back of the toilet. Okay, now that the toilet is done, we need to connect his body parts to the toilet. So first, I'm just gonna give him a bigger leg like this, and we'll copy this over to the other side. And now let's make his arm a little bit different, and we'll rotate it to the side so it doesn't clip through his leg. Now let's copy that to the other side as well, and it's time to work on his head. I want to make his head look like it's made out of water. So let's make the shape of a mouth like this, and we'll give him some water drops on the side, and also some eyes over top. Alright, now it's time to add some color, so let's color the toilet completely white, and we'll color his head blue to match the toilet water. Now let's color in his mouth and his eyes, and we'll also recolor all the zombie parts because they look a little messed up. Now let's change the color of his hands to match his head, and finally let's give him some texture. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, let's see how it looks in game. This is how the toilet zombie looks in game. I can't tell 
if it looks good or bad. I think it's just the default zombie clothes. They don't really match the hands and the head. The toilet zombie is also somehow really fast, which makes no sense because I'm pretty sure I made him slow. And if you kill the toilet zombie, instead of dropping rotten flesh, he drops wet flesh. Which even though it seems cursed, it only gives you water breathing, so it's actually kind of useful. There is also a king zombie, which is way more powerful than the default ones. The king toilet also shoots water balls at you, which may seem like it isn't dangerous, but that is definitely not the case. If you kill a king toilet zombie, he drops a king's crown, which is definitely not an item from one of my previous videos. It's also not supposed to be red. I don't know what happened. But overall, I think the toilet zombies are a pretty cool addition to the game, so because of that, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a skeleton. What will we get? And we got in Belgium. I'm pretty sure they invented waffles in Belgium, so let's make a waffle man. Let's start by removing all this stuff, and we'll move his arms away because we don't need these right now. Now let's shape the middle part into a waffle like this, and we'll just add a little bit of detail to make sure this looks like a waffle. Now let's make the top part of his arm a little bit bigger like this, and we'll add a bottom part to his arm as well. And let's copy this arm over to the other side, and now it's time to add some color to our waffle man. First I'm going to color both of his arms a really dark gray, and we'll also color his body waffle color. I'm going to color the lines on the waffle a little bit darker so they stand out, and now that looks pretty good, so let's just rotate his arms. And I want to make him holding a fork and a knife, so first let's add a fork in his left hand, and we'll color the fork fully light gray like this. Now let's add a knife in his right hand. Now let's add some texture all around him, and I think this guy looks too plain, so I'm gonna give him some eyes like this, and I'll also give him a mouth down here, and finally let's add some eyebrows on the top, and I think this guy is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the waffle man in game. He definitely looks pretty interesting. I especially like how it looks like he's swimming in the air when he flies around. It's pretty funny. The waffle man isn't really a hostile mob, but you are able to tame him using cocoa beans, which I picked as an item because of Belgian chocolate because our translate was in Belgium. If your waffle man dies, he drops a waffle, which when you eat it gives you strength and regeneration for 15 seconds. That isn't the only feature the waffle man has though, as you're able to ride the waffle man as well. He is quite slow though, so an elytra is probably better. Overall, I think the waffle man didn't turn out that bad, but he's definitely not my favorite, so because of that, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got glass of milk. Okay, this one is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna make a glass of milk. So first, let's remove all the stuff we don't need, and let's rotate the body upwards so we can make it into a glass of milk. First, I'm gonna add an outline all around it that is going to be the glass, and we'll just put some parts at the top like this. And next, I wanna make this glass of milk alive, so I'm gonna give him some feet on the bottom, and I'm gonna start working on some arms for him as well. Let's also bend the arm a little bit like this, and we'll copy it over to the other side. And finally, let's just add a straw on the top, and now it's time for us to add some color. First, I'm gonna color the milk in white like this, and I'll make the straw a little bit darker so it doesn't blend in. Now it's time to color the glass, so let's color it a dark bluish color, and we'll also color his arms and legs a really dark gray. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to give our glass of milk a face. So let's add some eyes like this, and I'm also gonna give him a little mouth underneath. Now let's add a little bit of texture to this guy, and I'm also gonna change the straw to red so it stands out a lot more. Okay, I think that is looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is our glass of milk in game. He kind of looks like something you would see in a milk commercial. I don't think you want to drink this guy though. I doubt he tastes good. I will say his running animation looks pretty funny though. It's exactly how I would imagine a glass of milk running. The glass of milk also randomly does a backflip because that totally makes sense. Just ignore the fact that he doesn't spill at all. If you throw splash potions at the glass of milk, it does nothing because milk clears effects. And you can also clear effects by right clicking him if you tame him with sugar. This means you'll never have to drink milk again if you have this guy. Which is exactly what he wanted. I'm going to give the glass of milk an 8 out of 10. He's not the best mob, but he's definitely pretty cool. Next I'll translate a pig. What will we get? And we just got light. For this one, I think I'm gonna make some kind of light golem. First, I'm gonna rearrange his body parts like this, and let's take his body and make it a lot bigger because it's a golem. Now let's change the shape of his head a bit to match his body, and we'll give him some arms like this. I'm also gonna give him a massive fist on the bottom as well, and we'll just copy this over to the other side. Now let's add some horns on the top, which I'm going to make into lanterns later, and this is a pretty good body, so now let's add some color. First, let's color his whole body a stonish color, and I'm going to draw a yellow area, which is going to be replaced with a glowstone texture later. So let's put another yellow area on his hands, and I'm also going to give him some eyes, which will be yellow as well. Now let's add a few more darker parts like this, and now that I've added texture onto him, he looks way better. But we still need to make the top things into lanterns like this, and we'll also give him some torches on his shoulders as well. Now let's change his eyes a little bit, because they look kind of weird, and I don't think that looks too bad. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the light golem in game. I have no idea why he is orange. Okay, I actually have to turn off the shaders for this one. It's because I made it so the light golem emits light, which as you can see makes him pretty useful to have with you in the caves. If you want to spawn the light golem, he is crafted using four glowstone blocks and a pumpkin, 
I have no idea why you get to keep two of them though, that's weird. And other than providing a light source, the light golem also fights hostile mobs. He also strikes lightning every time he attacks them because he is the light golem. And this actually makes him pretty OP. Not good enough to kill the six-headed demon though, nothing will ever be. Overall, I think the light golem looks kind of strange. The glowstone is definitely kind of weird looking. So because of this, I decided to give the light golem a 6 out of 10. The next mob is an iron golem. Translate, and we got education. Okay, for this one, I think I'm gonna make the teacher golem. First, I'm going to make his body a little bit different of a shape. And let's add some shoes to the bottom of his legs like this. Next, I'm gonna give his arms an extra limb so that we can bend them. And now it's time to add some color. So first, we'll color his shirt a lightish blue. And we'll color his pants dark gray and his shoes will be brown. Okay, now let's add a vest all around his body like this. And I'm gonna color the vest brown just like we did for his shoes. Okay, now that's looking good. So it's time to add some details to his shirt. And we'll give him some hands. And I wanna put one of those pointer things in his right hand. So let's do that. And in his left hand, I'm going to give him a book. So let's mirror this and move it a bit. And now we'll just give him some glasses like this. Now, finally, I think it's time to give him some texture. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is the teacher golem in game. I will say he looks a lot better than I thought he would. Overall, he just looks kind of weird with the clothes though. It kind of looks like he's from a monster school video. Similar to spawning the light golem, you need four bookshelves to spawn the teacher golem instead. The teacher golem can be especially useful to craft if you need to study because every time you right click him, he tells you a random fact from Google, which was originally named back rub according to the teacher golem. The teacher golem is also able to fight though, as he gives you a random potion effect every time he attacks you. But will that be enough to beat the six-headed demon? It actually is, but that's only because he's somehow immune to his attacks. I guess he's just fighting smarter than the six-headed demon. Overall, I think the teacher golem doesn't look the best, but his features are still pretty cool, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a creeper. What will we get? And we got don't go. That's basically telling us to stop, so for this one, I'm going to make a living stop sign. First, let's remove his back legs, because we don't need them. And we'll shape his body into more of a stop sign body like this. Now, let's move his head up a bit, and we'll shape his head into a stop sign. Okay, that's looking pretty good, so now it's time to work on his legs. And let's just add a piece that connects to the body like this, and we'll copy this to the other side. Next, I'm going to give him some arms, and we'll make these arms bend out towards the front like this, and let's copy this to the other side as well, and I think that's pretty good, so now it's time to add some color. First, let's color the stop sign completely red, and then we'll color his body a light gray, kind of like a stop sign pole. Next, I'm going to put a white outline around the stop sign like this, and we'll add some text that says stop over the top of the sign. Now, let's color his hands and feet a bit darker gray. And we'll start to add some texture like this. And I think that's looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the stop sign man in game. For what it is, he looks pretty good. The stop sign man's running animation also looks pretty funny, just like the glass of milk. Since the stop sign man was made from a creeper, he has a random chance of exploding every time he attacks something. The stop sign man also temporarily freezes you when he attacks you because he wants you to stop. If you kill a stop sign man, he drops a stop sign, which is a weapon that pretty much does the exact same things that his attack does, so you can become the stop sign man. It's also a surprisingly good weapon to use against the stop sign man as well. Overall, I think the stop sign man is pretty funny, but he's definitely not one of the best mobs, so I decided to give the stop sign man a 7 out of 10. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into Poppy Playtime 3. The first character I'll make is Catnap, and I'm gonna use a cat. It should be obvious why. First, let's remove this stuff, and we'll rearrange his body parts for now. Now, let's change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll make his legs a bit bigger like this. Now, let's give him some arms on the side, and now let's start to shape his head. Next, I'm gonna give him some ears on the top of his head, and we'll start to give him a big tail right here. Alright, now this is looking good, so let's color him in. First, we'll color his body fully purple, and I'm gonna give him a mouth up here. Next, I'm gonna color in this nose piece, and we'll start to give him some eyes. Now, let's add the moon that he has on his chest. Next, I'm gonna change his face a little bit like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Catnap looks in game. As you can see, this guy looks really happy, which I'm sure means he's very friendly and not at all scary. Catnap is very powerful as he's able to do a lot of damage and if you get attacked by Catnap, I made it so that he chases you on all fours like this. I take back what I said about him before, he's definitely scary. Catnap has a ranged attack which is supposed to be him shooting gas and when Catnap hits you, he will change it to nighttime because he wears the moon pendant. Catnap will also drop this night clock if he dies which makes it nighttime as long as you are holding it in your hand. If you try to use a bed when Catnap is around, he will destroy the bed so that you cannot sleep and Catnap is also immune to fall damage because he's a cat, and cats are usually immune to fall damage. Overall, I don't think Catnap turned out that bad, but he also looks a little bit funny. So because of this, I'm going to give Catnap an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make Dog Day, and I'm gonna use a wolf because a wolf is a dog. First, we'll remove some of the stuff we don't need, and I'm gonna move his body around a little bit for now. Next, let's give him some new legs like this, 
and we'll change the shape of his body. Now I'm gonna copy one of the legs and turn it into an arm, and I'll give him a hand on the bottom of his arm. Now let's start to change the shape of his head, and we'll give him some spots for his eyes up here. Now let's give him some big floppy ears on the top, and I think this is looking pretty good, so now let's color him in. First we'll color his entire body in orangish yellow. Now I'm gonna give him a mouth like this. Next we'll color his ears a reddish color, and we'll do the same for his arms and his feet. Now let's color these divider things a dark gray, and I'm gonna give him a nose like this. Next let's draw the sun on the front of his chest. Alright, I think this is looking good. Let's add Dog Day to the game. This is how Dog Day looks in game. As you can see, he looks pretty good. Also, just like Catnap, he doesn't really look that scary. He has more of a friendly look. But don't let this trick you though, as Dog Day has the same chasing animation that I gave to Catnap. I think I'm just gonna stay in creative mode for now. Since Dog Day has the sun pendant, I made it so that when Dog Day hits you, he turns it to daytime instead of night. Dog Day is also able to spawn smiling critters to help him fight since he's the leader. But right now, he can only spawn Catnap because I haven't made any of the other ones. If you kill Dog Day, he will drop a Sun Axe, and the Sun Axe is insanely powerful as it does 19 attack damage and it can also destroy almost any block. Overall, I think Dog Day turned out a lot better than Catnap. I actually like how he looks this time. So because of this, I'm going to give Dog Day a 10 out of 10. Next, I'm going to make Bobby Bear Hug. And I'll use a Polar Bear because she's a bear. First, let's get rid of a few things. Next, I'm going to move these parts around a bit. Now, let's give her some new legs. And we'll make her body a lot smaller like this. Next, I'm gonna bend her body a little bit. And I'll just start to give her some arms on the side right here. And we'll just copy this to the other side. Next, I'm gonna start shaping her head. And we'll give her some ears on the top like this. Okay, that looks good. Now it's time to color her in. First, I'm gonna color her body a dark red. And we'll color her feet and hands a light pink. Now let's give her a big mouth like this. And we'll start to add her eyes on the top of the head. Next, let's give her some bright white pupils. And I'm gonna add a few more pink details. Next, let's give her a nose like this. And we'll add the heart that she has on her chest. Alright, I think this looks good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Bobby Bear Hug looks in game. I don't know why, but she kind of reminds me of Freddy Fazbear. It's probably because they are both bears, actually. That would make sense. Unlike Dog Day and Catnap, I decided to make it so that Bobby Bear Hug is passive towards players. And you are actually able to tame her if you feed her raw fish, because I'm pretty sure bears like fish. Once you tame Bobby Bear Hug, she will follow you around, and if you ever get low on health, you can right-click her and you will be healed to full health immediately, so she's pretty OP if you think of it. Bobby Bear Hug will also attack any mobs that are fighting you, and she does a ton of melee damage because bears are very powerful in real life. If you kill Bobby Bear Hug, I made her drop a heart, which just gives you a heart when it's right clicked, and overall I don't think Bobby Bear Hug turned out that bad, I actually kinda like this design. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next I'll make Bubba Bubba Fint, and I'm gonna use a Ravager cause it kinda looks like an elephant. So first let's just get rid of all this stuff. And I'm gonna start with Bobby Bear Hug's body. So let's change these ears into more elephant looking ears. And we'll change the nose into a big trunk like this. Next I'm gonna reshape the heart into the shape of a light bulb. And we'll just change his tail on the back as well. Okay now this is good, let's give him some new colors. First we'll color his body a light blue. And we'll give him the same color on his head. Next I'm gonna color his feet and hands a darker blue. And we'll put this on the end of his tail as well. Now let's color in the light bulb on his chest. And I'm just gonna add a few more details all around his body. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is how Bubba Bubba Fint looks in game. He looks a lot like Bobby Bear Hug. But to be fair, all the critters kind of look the same when you don't know what their monster form is like. Since Bubba Bubba Fint is an elephant, I decided to give him a ranged attack, which is supposed to be water shooting out of his trunk. He does shoot a lot of water though, so I'm not really sure how he fits it in his trunk. You might have also noticed that Bubba Bubba Fint emits light, and that's because his pendant is a light bulb, so I literally just made him a light bulb. Bubba Bubba Fint also can do a ton of melee damage like Bobby Bear Hug, and this is because an elephant is also a really powerful animal, I'm guessing. If you kill Bubba Bubba Fint, you will drop a light bulb, and the light bulb works just like a torch, except you are not able to place it. It's only meant to be held. Overall, I don't think Bubba Bubba Fint turned out that bad, and because of this, I decided to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Piggy Piggy, and I'll use a pig because she's a pig. So first, I'm gonna remove all these pig parts, and we're going to start with Bubba Bubba Fint's body. So let's completely remove the trunk, and we'll start to make the ears a lot more pig shaped. Next, I'm gonna give her a completely new nose, and I'm gonna change this light bulb into the shape of an apple like this. Now let's remove this tail, and we'll turn it into a spirally tail. Okay, now this is good, so it's time to change her colors. First, I'm gonna color her body light pink, and we'll color her head the same color. Now let's color her nose a darker pink, and we'll use the same color for her hands and her feet. Next, let's color in the apple we put on her chest. Now finally, let's color in the tail, and I think this is looking good. Let's add Picky Piggy to the game. This is how Picky Piggy looks in game. I don't know 
why, but her face looks a little bit scary. But other than that, she doesn't look that bad, I guess. I don't know, it's just really weird. Similar to Bobby Bear Hug, if you right-click Piggy Piggy, she will give you hunger instead of health. And this is good, because you no longer need to kill pigs to get food now. Piggy Piggy is also really picky according to her name, so I made it so that she attacks regular pigs, as she's very particular about what pigs she likes. If you kill Piggy Piggy, I made it so that she drops a suspicious apple, and this apple just gives you a couple of potion effects, which kind of have me wondering what she did to the apple. Overall, I think Piggy Piggy turned out pretty good, but her face just looks a little bit scary. So because of this, I decided to give her a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll make Crafty Corn, and I'm gonna use a horse because that's almost a unicorn. So like usual, we'll remove all this horse stuff, and I'm gonna start from Piggy Piggy's body. So let's just change these ears a little bit, and we'll start to give her some hair on the top like this. Next, I'm gonna add her unicorn horn on the top, and we'll change this apple into the shape of a flower. Now let's remove this tail, and we'll make it into a bushier tail like this. Okay, now this is looking good, so let's change her colors. First, we'll color her entire body white, and we'll do the same thing on her head. Now let's color her hair light blue, and we'll color her hands and feet the same color. Next, let's color in the flower that is on her chest, and I'm gonna color her unicorn horn a bit darker than her body, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in-game. This is how Crafty Corn looks in-game. I will say she's probably one of my favorite non-monster critters right now. Also, ignore the particles she's emitting. I just gave them to her because it felt like something she would do. You may have also noticed that every time Crafty Corn moves, a trail of rainbow-colored blocks follows her because her pendant is a rainbow flower, so it only makes sense. Another thing you can do is tame Crafty Corn using some wheat, and after you tame Crafty Corn, you are able to ride her similar to a horse. And this honestly looks really cool when it's paired with the rainbow trail that she has. If you kill Crafty Corn, she drops a rainbow sword, which is just a really OP sword that strikes lightning every time you hit something, and it also has a chance of exploding when using it as well. Just ignore the way it looks in my hand, though. I don't know how this happened. And overall, I think Crafty Corn is one of my favorite critters so far. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Hoppy Hopscotch. And I'll use a rabbit because she's a rabbit. First, let's remove all these rabbit parts. And I'm gonna start from Bubba Bubba Fin's body because it will be easier. So let's just change these ears into long rabbit ears. And I'm gonna change the light bulb into a lightning bolt like this. Now let's give her a completely different looking tail. And now this is good, so I'm gonna change her colors. First, I'm gonna color her body entirely green. And we'll just do the same thing on her face. Now let's color her hands and feet a bit darker green. And I'm gonna color her tail the same color. Next, I'm gonna add a bit more detail all around her body. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's add her to the game. This is how Hoppy Hopscotch looks in game. She kinda has the same Freddy Fazbear looking face from before. But she still looks pretty good, despite not looking like a bunny. As you can see, Hoppy Hopscotch is really fast, and since she's a bunny, I decided to make it so that she can jump really high as well. And if you want some of this jumping power for yourself, you can right click on Hoppy Hopscotch and you will get jump boost for 30 seconds as well. If Hoppy Hopscotch gets in a fight, she strikes lightning on the enemy because her pendant is a lightning bolt, and if you kill Hoppy Hopscotch, she drops these green boots, which when worn will give you permanent jump boost just like she has. Overall, I think Hoppy Hopscotch turned out pretty good, I especially like her ears. So because of this, I decided to give her an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make Kickin' Chicken, and I'm obviously gonna use a chicken. First, I'm gonna remove the chicken like this, and just like the last time, we'll use Bubba Bubba Fint as a base. So let's just get rid of this trunk, and we'll get rid of his ears. Next, I'm gonna make his face a bit bigger like this. Next, I'm gonna change the light bulb into a star. Now let's change his hands into wings, and I'm gonna add the hair that he has on his head right here. Next, I'm gonna give him a new tail like this, and I'm gonna add the beak on his face right here. Okay, now this looks good, so let's start to color him in. First, we'll color his body entirely yellow, and I'm gonna do the same thing on his head. Next, we'll color his feet orange. Now, let's color his star a reddish color, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add Kickin' Chicken to the game. This is how Kickin' Chicken looks in game. This is definitely my least favorite smiling critter, I won't lie, but the fact that he's able to fly makes up for it a little bit. It makes him look more unique. It also gives him this cool flying animation, which doesn't actually look that cool. It looks a little bit weird, actually. If Kickin' Chicken gets in a fight, he does a ton of knockback because he has Kickin' in his name. Also similar to Picky Piggy, Kickin' Chicken also doesn't like regular chickens, but this time it has no reason. He's just a hater, I guess. If you kill Kickin' Chicken, I made it so that he drops a star, and upon right-clicking the star, you will just start levitating in the air until you make it to the stars. And overall, I think Kickin' Chicken doesn't look that good, but I like some of the features that he has. So because of this, I decided to give him a 7 out of 10. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into the amazing digital circus. The first character I'll make is Pomni, and I'm going to use a villager to make her. First, let's get rid of this stuff because we don't need it. Now let's change the shape of her body and we'll start shaping her legs. Next, I'm going to give her
her some arms, and I'll just add a hand on the bottom here. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of her head, and let's start to add her hat on the top as well. And I think that's a pretty good body, so now let's start to color her in. First, let's color her head white, and we'll do the same for her arms and legs as well. Now let's color in these yellow parts like this. Next, let's color in her clothes, and I'll make sure to add the blue spots on the other side. Now let's put these buttons that she has on the front of her shirt like this, and now it's time to give her a face. So first, I'm gonna add her eyes like this, and I'm also gonna give her a strand of hair on each side of her head as well. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Pomni looks in game. She doesn't look that bad. I like how I made her constantly looking around paranoid, just like how she is in the show. We'll just ignore the fact that she's bald on the back of her head though. I'm pretty sure her hat is supposed to cover that. In the show, Pomni throws up on the ground, so I made it so that when she hits you, you get the nausea effect. It is also said that Pomni doesn't like being touched, so I made it so that she runs away from enemies very quickly if she gets attacked. In the show, Pomni tries to escape the circus through a bunch of exit doors, so I made it so that Pomni can open doors by herself, just like a regular villager. Pomni also gets teleported to the void if you right click her, because I just felt like adding that. I don't really know why. If you kill Pomni, she drops her red hand, which gets glitched in the first episode, so if you hold this hand out for yourself, you get teleported around randomly, sort of like you're glitching. And a fun fact about Pomni is that her favorite food is salmon, so you can also feed Pomni salmon. Overall, I think Pomni turned out pretty good, and has a lot of interesting features. So because of this, I decided to give Pomni a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Kane, and I'll use an evoker to make him. First, let's get rid of all this stuff that we don't need, and let's change the shape of his leg and bend it like this. Next, I'm gonna work on his arms, so let's just rotate this piece like this, and we'll give him a hand and copy this over to the other side as well. Next, I'm gonna change his head into the shape of some gums like this, and let's just add some teeth on the top in the same shape as well. Next, I'll give him his top hat on top of the mouth. Okay, now this is looking good, so let's give him some color. First, I'm gonna color his gums bright red, and we'll color the teeth white like this. Next, I'm gonna color in his eyes, and let's color his shirt a pinkish color as well. Okay, now this looks good, so let's just add some detail to his shirt right here, and we'll give him his different color eyeballs as well. Now let's give him his stick, because I forgot to do that. And I think that Kane is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how Kane looks in-game. He actually looks really good. Also, ignore the cakes that are spawning around him. I'll explain that in a second. Since Kane is the host of the Digital Circus, I decided to make it so that Kane is completely invincible to all types of damage, except for cactuses. Kane is also seen teleporting throughout the episode, so I made it so that Kane teleports away if he takes too much damage, similar to the TV people in my Skibbity videos. Kane also spawns cake randomly around him, as you can see, because he spawned a cake out of thin air in the first episode. Unfortunately, there is no bubble to eat this cake right now. We'll just have to wait until later for that. If Kane somehow manages to die, he drops a stick, which can be used to either remove any block you right-click on with it, or you can send any mob to the void if you right-click them as well. Overall, I think Kane turned out really good. He's definitely one of my favorite mobs I've made. So, because of this, I decided to give Kane a 10 out of 10. He deserves it. The next character I'll make is Jax, and I'm gonna use a rabbit, because Jax is a rabbit, I think. First, I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff we don't need, and let's rearrange his body parts a little bit for now. Next, let's make his legs super tall like this, and we'll change the shape of his body to make it a bit taller as well. Now let's give him a neck like this, and I'll just change the shape of his head to make it a bit more round. Now let's just add his ears on the very top, and now it's time to give Jax some arms. And I think this is good, so let's give Jax some color. First, I'm gonna color his head purple, and we'll do the same for his arms and body as well. Now let's color his overalls a pinkish color, and we'll do the same for his legs like this. Next, I'm gonna color both of his hands a yellowish color, and we'll just give him two buttons here, and now it's time to add his face. First, I'm gonna give him a big yellow mouth, and let's just give him some eyes above that. I'm also gonna give him a couple eyebrows above his eyes like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how Jax looks in-game. He honestly looks pretty similar to the actual show. The only difference is that he's obviously made of cubes, though, so he could never be as good as the original. It was kind of hard for me to think of features to give Jax, so he only really has a couple. To start, Jax is super tall, as you can see, just like he is in the actual series, and you can also see Jax run away really quickly in the first episode, so I made it so that Jax is super fast in game as well. You can also ride on Jax's back for some reason. I'm not really sure why I added this. It just seems like something that he would be able to do. If you kill Jax, you get a rabbit's foot because he's a rabbit, so that's the less evil version of making him just drop rabbit meat. And overall, I think Jax looks pretty good, but he doesn't really have that many features. So because of this, I decided to give Jax an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Ragatha, and I'm gonna use a witch to make her. First, let's get rid of some of the stuff we don't need, and I'm just gonna make her body a lot smaller for now, and I'll just add a few layers underneath as her dress. Next, I'm gonna give her an arm like this, and I'll just give her a hand on the bottom as well. Now, let's copy this over to the other side, and next, let's work on her head. First, I'm gonna change the shape of it like this. Next, I'm gonna start adding her hair on the side, and I'll just copy these hairs all around her head, and we'll also add her bow on the top 
up like this. And I think this is a pretty good body, so now let's give her some color. First, I'm gonna color her head and her arms in like this. Next, let's just color her hair a reddish pink color as well. Now, let's color her entire dress a purplish color, and we'll color the bow on top slightly darker. Next, I'm gonna add the patches on her dress in the same color as the bow. And now, let's add a bit more detail, and we'll start to give her a face. Alright, after like five tries, this is the face I'm going with. It still looks weird, but it's the best I'm gonna get. Now, finally, let's add a bit of texture. And I think this looks good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Ragatha looks in game. I definitely think her face looks a little weird. She also makes witch noises, which I'm not really sure if it fits her or not. It's kind of strange. Also, we're just gonna ignore the fact that you can see through her hair. Just pretend the back part here is fully covered. In the show, Ragatha gets attacked and becomes completely glitched out, so I decided to make it so that Ragatha glitches whenever she gets hit, which looks kind of funny more than glitchy. This is also the only feature that Ragatha has because I couldn't really think of anything else. If you kill Ragatha, she drops this red thing from the nether because it was supposed to be her hair. And overall, I think Ragatha looks kind of cursed and she doesn't really have any features. So because of this, I'm going to give Ragatha a 6 out of 10. I just made her face look too weird. Next character I'll make is Gangle. And I'll make Gangle from a skeleton because they're both kind of built the same. First, I'm going to make her head a lot smaller like this. And now let's shape the head into a mask as well. And I think that's good. So let's just work on her left arm like this. And we'll make the right arm similar, but rotate it in a different direction. Next, I'm going to make her legs a lot thinner. And we'll rotate the bottom part a little bit like this. Now let's copy this to the other side and it's time to color her in. First, I'm going to draw a red spiral for her body like this. And I'm going to color her arms and her legs the same color. Now let's add a bit of detail with a slightly lighter red. And next, I'm going to color in her mask. And now finally, let's give her a face like this. And we'll also add a little bit more texture to her body as well. And I think that is looking pretty good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Gangle looks in game. Despite being very simple to make, I think she actually turned out pretty good. I will say that having the arms like this is kind of strange though. They don't really move that much. In the show, Gangle has at least two masks. The comedy mask and the tragedy mask. But she falls and breaks her comedy mask at the beginning of the first episode, so I decided to make it so that when Gangle dies, her comedy mask falls and reveals the tragedy mask. You may have also noticed that the comedy mask drops as an item when she dies. And if you decide to wear this comedy mask, you get speed 4 and jump boost 4 because those effects are kind of fun, I guess. The mask is also off-centered when you wear it, but we'll just ignore that. It's the only way I could make it fit. Overall, I think Gangle turned out pretty good, and I think her mask is a cool addition to the game. So because of this, I'm going to give Gangle a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Kinger, and I'll use a snow golem to make him. First, I'm gonna get rid of these layers, because we don't need them. And let's make the bottom smaller like this. Now let's add another part on top, and we'll make it way taller as well. Next, I'm gonna copy this part on top, and we'll bend it so he's hunched over a little bit. And now I'm just gonna add a part on the front that is gonna be his coat. Now let's add a piece for his head up here. And we'll add another part on top, and we'll also add the king thing on the very top like this. Next, I'm gonna change his neck area a little bit so that he can have his coat. And this looks pretty good. Now let's color him in. First, I'm gonna color his body a purplish color. And we'll just color in the rest of his coat as well. Now let's color his head slightly darker than his coat. Next, I'm gonna give him an eye. And we'll copy this over to the other side and rotate them a little bit as well. Now let's give him a hand and we'll color it the same color as his coat. Next, we'll add a little bit of detail to his coat like this. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Kinger looks in game. This guy is honestly a little bit larger than I thought he would be. I also decided to make it so that Kinger sways back and forth quickly because in the show, he seems to be a little bit on edge. Wait, where did he go? Why is he hiding underneath these randomly colored blocks? Since Kinger seems to be crazy in the show, I decided to make it so that when you right click Kinger, he shakes really quickly, similar to when he did this in the show. This also makes him look kind of funny if you just spam it. If you kill Kinger, I made it so that he drops one scaffolding, and you might be wondering why I chose this random item. And it's because it has a checkerboard pattern on it, and Kinger is a chess piece. Overall, I don't think Kinger looks that bad, but he's also not the best looking mob. So because of this, I decided to give Kinger a 7 out of 10. The next character I'll make is Zubal, and I'll use a blaze to make them because they both have a bunch of body parts. First, let's remove all these because we don't need them. And I'm just gonna make the first leg like this. And we'll just add this hook shape on the bottom of the right leg, and we'll also add a spiral on the top. Next, I'm gonna give Zubal a body. And we'll just copy the spiral for their neck as well. Next, I'm gonna work on making a triangle shape for the head. And I'm also gonna add a left arm like this. And we'll also make a right arm that has a lot less spirals. Now, I'm gonna color Zubal in. So first, let's color the body yellowish. And we'll color Zubal's head in pink. Next, I'm gonna color the rest of the body a bunch of different colors. Now, let's add some spots on Zubal's body like this. And now, I'm gonna add a few more parts on the body that I missed. And I think that looks good. So now, let's just add their eyes like this. And we'll also add this zigzag thing that comes off the top of their head as well. Now, let's add the Y on the other part of the head. And we'll give it some stripes as well. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how Zubal looks in game. This is how Zubal looks in game. I'm honestly kind of surprised that I was able to make them look good with all the different pieces. I 
will say the blaze noises are really annoying though. I definitely should have removed them. But other than that, this actually did turn out pretty good. In the show, Zubal gets broken into a bunch of pieces, so I decided to make it so that when you kill Zubal, it breaks them into a bunch of pieces as well. Ignore the fact that they're able to stand back up. You also might have noticed that Zubal drops a Zubal head when they die, and you might be wondering what the Zubal head does. No, you are not able to wear it. Instead, you can eat the Zubal head and you will gain bad luck for a minute. This is because Zubal seems kinda unlucky in the first episode. Overall, I think Zubal turned out a lot better than I thought they would, so because of this, I decided to give Zubal an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Bubble, and I'll use a Vex because I made Kane from an Evoker. First, I'm gonna get rid of all this Vex stuff, and I'm just gonna generate a circle like this. Now, let's color this circle a purplish color, and I'm gonna rotate this circle a bunch of different times until we have a bubble. Next, I'm gonna remove some pieces like this so we have some teeth, and let's just color these teeth white so we can see them. Next, I'm gonna add an eye on the side, and we'll color it reddish brown. And now, let's just copy this to the other side. And I think that looks good. Let's see how Bubble looks in game. This is how Bubble looks in game. This is probably the least Minecrafty looking mob I've ever made. The teeth still look Minecrafty though. I didn't really add that much detail to them. Since Bubble is supposed to be Kane's sidekick, I decided to make it so that when you right click Kane, he spawns in Bubble, similar to how the actual Evoker spawns Vexes. Bubble is also seen licking stuff in the show, so I decided to make it so that you get licked by Bubble if he attacks you as well. If you kill Bubble, he has a popping animation, which actually looks kind of cool. And you might have noticed that he drops an Ender Pearl, and that's just because it's the same shape as a bubble, that's really it. Overall, I don't think Bubble looks that bad, but he's a little bit weird compared to my regular mobs. So because of this, I'm going to give Bubble a 7 out of 10. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into Garden of Ban Ban 6. The first character I'll make is Sir Datadu, and I'm gonna use a Ravager because they're both big and scary. First, let's remove all the stuff we don't need, and we'll start to make the shape of his body. Now let's start giving him an arm on the side. Next, I'm gonna start to give him a head, and I think this is good, so now let's start to add some color. First, I'm gonna color his body fully light gray. Now let's color his hands the same color as his head. And now we'll just give him some teeth on the bottom like this. Now finally, let's start to give him a tie. And I think this is looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Sir Dadadu looks in game. He definitely looks pretty scary. He also kind of looks like he's from Monsters, Inc. Does anyone else see that? It's probably just the tie that he's wearing. It makes him look like he's ready for work. Since Sir Dadadu kind of looks like a slug, I decided to make it so that he walks very slowly. But don't let this trick you though, because just like in the actual game, Sir Dadadu is able to move very quickly if he's attacking you. And if you get hit by Sir Dadadu, he will give you all these potion effects, because in the game, he possesses some of the other monsters, so this is kind of the same thing. Subscribe or Sir Dadadu will possess you. If you manage to kill Sir Dadadu, he drops a Dadadu tooth, which does the same thing as his attack does, it possesses things. And overall, I think Sir Dadadu turned out really good. He looks a lot like the actual monster. So because of this, I decided to give Sir Dadadu a 10 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the nanny. And I'll use a pig, because the nanny is either a pig or a cow, but I don't know which. So first, let's get rid of these back legs. Now let's start to shape the body like this. Now let's make these legs a lot bigger. Now let's change the shape of her head a little bit. And we'll just give her some floppy ears like this. And I think this is looking good, so now let's color her in. First, I'm gonna color her body a grayish blue color. Now let's color her legs a little bit darker. Now let's color her nose blue. And we'll give her some bright yellow eyes like this. Now let's give her a blue mouth as well. And I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how the nanny looks in game. I still can't tell if she's supposed to be a pig or a cow. Come on guys, which one is it? You have to tell me. Okay, I don't think they know either. In the game, the nanny is seen lurking in one of the first rooms before jump scaring the player. So I decided to make it so that the nanny is mainly found in dark areas as well. The nanny also moves quite slowly, similar to Sir Dadadu, because this is how she's seen moving at first. But don't let this trick you again, because the nanny attacks you super quickly if you get too close, similar to her jump scare. I decided to make it so that if you kill the nanny, she drops a pork chop. And the reason I did that is because she looks like a pig. I'm sorry if she's a cow, I seriously can't tell. And overall, I think the nanny looks pretty good in game, but her body design just looks a little bit boring. So because of this, I'm going to give the nanny an 8 out of 10. The next character I'll make is Syringion, and I'm gonna use a sniffer to make him, because they both start with S. First, I'm gonna remove all the stuff we don't need, and I'm gonna turn his legs into feet like this, and we'll add a leg on top of the feet as well. Now let's start to add his neck like this, and we'll add his head on the top of his neck as well. Now let's start to give him some arms, and now we're gonna start coloring him in. First, I'm gonna color his entire body a bright pink color, and now let's give him a mouth like this, and we'll also start to give him some eyes on the top. Next, I'm gonna add his surgeon tools that he has on each of his hands, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Syringion looks in game. This guy doesn't look that bad. I don't really know why he's turning like this, though. This is definitely a problem. But other than that, Syringion looks good. I especially like his face. It looks kind of funny. In the game, Syringion is referred to as the surgeon, so I decided to make it so that he does surgery on you when he hits you. Okay, it's not 
not actually surgery. He just freezes you and starts taking your hearts. I don't know how to make this guy an actual surgeon. Something I also just noticed is that Syringion's arms aren't actually supposed to be in the air like this. His picture on the wall deceived me. If you kill Syringion, he drops a beetroot, and the only reason I made him drop this random item is because it looks like a heart, and he is the surgeon. Overall, I don't think Syringion turned out that bad, but there are a few things that are kind of weird. So because of this, I decided to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the naughty ones. And I'll use an endermite to make them, because they are both kind of the same. So let's remove a few pieces like this. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll give him a head on the top of his body. Now let's rotate the bottom of his body like this, and we'll start to give him a tail on the back right here. Next, I'm gonna add some ears on the top of his head. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now it's time to give him some color. First, let's color his body this bluish color, and we'll color the inside of his ears purple. Now let's color his teeth bright white, and I'll actually change the color of his body because it's not supposed to be dark like this. Alright, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how the naughty ones look in-game. Honestly, they pretty much look exactly the same as they do in-game. The only thing that's really different is that we are seeing them in the light, which I'm not sure if that is even possible. The naughty ones are incredibly fast, as you can see, and this makes them actually pretty scary. Well, I don't know about scary, but they're sort of like a buff silverfish. The naughty ones also won't attack you when there's light around, but if you run into one of these guys in a cave, then you might be in trouble. I also gave the naughty ones a jumping attack animation, which is supposed to be like their jump scare, and if you manage to kill these guys, they drop an amethyst shard, and I don't really know why. I just picked it because it's purple. Overall, I think the naughty ones turned out exactly how they should have, so because of this, I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10 as well. The next character I'll make is Kitty Saurus, and I'm gonna use a cat to make her, because she is partially a cat. First, let's get rid of these legs, and we'll move these body parts and change the shape of her body. Next, we'll start to give her some feet down here, and we'll add some legs on top as well. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of her head as well. Next, I'm gonna give her some T-Rex arms like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Now, let's add some color. First, I'm gonna color her body an orangish color. Now, let's color her feet white, and let's give her some teeth as well, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in-game. This is how Kitty Saurus looks in-game. As you can see, she is massive. She also kinda looks more like a dog than a cat, but I guess that's fine. She still looks scary either way. Similar to the naughty ones, Kitty Saurus is also incredibly fast, which makes it basically impossible to escape her. Fortunately, this is Garten of Ban Ban 6 though, so we don't have to worry about her attacking us. Since Kitty Saurus is part cat, I decided to make it so that you can tame her, and I decided to make it so that you tame her with rotten flesh because it just seems like an item that would be used to tame her. If you tame Kitty Saurus, you are also able to ride her, although I'm not really sure if this is the right place to be riding on top of her, but it's still better than some of the mobs I've made, I guess. Overall, I think Kitty Saurus looks pretty good, but she also looks a little bit like a dog. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Bitter Giggle, and I'll use a pillager to make him. First, let's remove some of the stuff we don't need, and we'll change the shape of his legs, and we'll also change his arms. Now let's start to shape his head a little bit like this, and we'll just color his body fully green for now. Next, I'm gonna split his body into two colors by making this side purple. Now let's add these spots on the purple side of his body like this. Next, I'm gonna give him a mouth like this. Now finally, let's give him some eyes, and I think this is good. Let's add Bitter Giggle to the game. This is how Bitter Giggle looks in game. I will say this is not one of my best mobs, but he is a pretty difficult character to make, as he has a lot of random parts extruding out of him for no reason. In the game, Bitter Giggle tries to fight Sir Dadadu, so I made it so that they fight in Minecraft as well, although it's pretty much the same outcome. There's no way Bitter Giggle will beat Sir Dadadu. If you right-click on Bitter Giggle, I gave him a laughing animation because he likes to tell jokes, and right-clicking him also gives him a random chance to tell a joke as well. I sure hope nothing bad happens because of that. If you kill Bitter Giggle, he drops a clownfish because he's funny and clowns are supposed to be funny, and overall I think Bitter Giggle isn't the best looking mob, but I do like some of his features. So because of this, I'm going to give Bitter Giggle a 7 out of 10. Next, I made Tarta Bird, and I made him from a horse. You'll see why. I got rid of all this stuff, colored him blue, and then I added his wings. I added Tarta Bird to the game, and he actually looked pretty good, but I think there is something wrong with him. Yeah, for some reason he's kinda dirty, and water isn't fixing it. I figured out how to fix this, and he was actually looking really good, except for this one spot on his beak, but we'll ignore it. I decided to spawn a baby Tarta Bird, and this is what he looked like. I like how he just follows the big one around, just like in the game. You're even able to put him on the big one's back as well. Oh wait, I guess he hasn't tamed him yet. In the actual game, you have to ride 
Tartar Bird, so I decided to try that for myself. Why does he keep doing that when he kicks me off? It looks really weird. I'm honestly surprised with how perfect this looks. I mean, the legs look a little bit weird, but this looks really good. I'm even able to make Tartar Bird jump. This is insane. I decided to give Tartar Bird a 10 out of 10. Honestly, there was nothing bad about him at all. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Nabnalina. I decided to make Nabnalina from an Iron Golem. I colored her fully black, gave her a mouth, and finally I added her arms. Nabnalina looks really good in game as well. The arms look kind of weird, but I think she's just asserting dominance. It's fine. Also, the legs are missing texture, but you didn't see that. This never happened. In the game, you have to inject Nabnalina with some kind of chemicals to make her come to life, so I decided to try that in game. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be drinking it. I guess she isn't thirsty. Nabnalina honestly looks pretty strong, so let's see if she can take out some pillagers. Okay, the pillagers don't really have a chance. They're getting destroyed. Yeah, Nabnalina didn't take any damage, but we'll give her an iron ingot anyway. She deserves it. There isn't much to do with Nabnalina, so I decided to make her ride Tartabird. Okay, I might have done that backwards, but honestly, this is better. Tartabird's legs probably needed a break anyway, although I'm not sure if Nabnalina is able to see anymore. I decided to give Nabnalina a 9 out of 10. It would have been a 10, but I can't look past the bra pose. It's too cursed. Next, I made Hijacked Banban. -Ban. I made him from a zombie. I changed the shape of his body, colored him red, and then I gave him some eyes. After that, I added his mouth, gave him some horns, and added his feet. I added Hijacked Banban -Ban to the game, and he was honestly looking pretty scary. He also looks like Venom. Or maybe that's just me. I always say things like this, and then they look nothing like it. Let's spawn a baby Banban. -Ban. This guy's kind of fast. This would actually be scary if it was the real zombie. I decided to spawn a real Banban, -Ban, and then I tested which one of them is the best Banban. Banban -Ban. -Ban has a sword, so he probably wins this. Yeah, hijacked Banban -Ban didn't stand a chance. Banban -Ban destroyed him. I spawned an army of hijacked Banbans, and then I decided to get chased by them. Okay, he's not really that scary when he chases you at 0.1 miles per hour. The babies look kind of crazy, though. I decided to give hijacked Banban -Ban a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. I'm just disappointed that he lost to real Banban. -Ban. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Tomatalki and Chamatalki. I hope that's how you say it. For these guys, I used a wolf. First, I made their shell, and then I added the chameleon. I forgot which one he is. And after that, I added the other guy. I added them to the game, and they honestly didn't look the best, yet somehow this one took me the longest to make. They're also not really the right size. I'm pretty sure these guys are huge in the game. But I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? I decided to spawn a baby one of them, and it just made it even worse. Now they are microscopic. In the game, Chamatalki attacks you with his tongue, and I'm not really sure how to make that in Minecraft. So instead, I decided to feed him some steak because I'm guessing he uses his tongue while eating. Tomataki shoots cyan balls from his mouth, so I just, yeah. They can't be making that sound. I feel bad. I decided to tame one of these guys, and then I made them fight a hijacked Banban. -Ban. Okay, Banban -Ban lost again. He can't keep taking L's like this. I decided to give Tomataki and Chamataki a 5 out of 10. They just look kind of bad. That's all. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Mr. Kebab Man. And I made him from an Enderman because they're kind of built the same. I deleted everything, colored him gray, and then I gave him some arms. After that, I added his eyes, put the bandage thing on the back, and gave him his party hats. I added Mr. Kebab Man to the game, and he honestly wasn't looking that bad. I mean, I don't know if he was looking good, but he's definitely not bad. I like how when he walks, he actually looks good because I removed the legs. In the game, Mr. Kebab Man is supposed to mimic Ban Ban, so I decided to see if he can take out Hijacked Ban Ban as well. Come on, Hijacked Ban Ban, you got this one. No more else. Okay, I'm done with Hijacked Ban Ban. He's never winning a fight. I decided to visit the end to find more Mr. Kebab Mans, and then I did what I always do. It's kind of scary how they just, like, hover to me. I think I made a little too many of them angry. I decided to give Mr. Kebab Man a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he also doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Stinger Flynn. I decided to make him from an Elder Guardian. I removed all this stuff, colored him orange, and then I added the spot around his eye. Next, I added his eye, gave him some legs, and then extended the legs out a bit. Stinger Flynn actually looks pretty good this time around. He's a lot better than the old one I had. He is also a lot bigger because apparently Stinger Flynn isn't tiny. Since Stinger Flynn is jumping around like this, I decided to spawn him in the water. Bro was just going crazy on the squids. What did the squids do to him? He honestly looks pretty good in the water. There is one thing wrong though. His legs are definitely supposed to move, but I don't really know how to do that, so it's fine. Stinger Flynn was driving when they were all going to the beach, so I decided to see if he can drive a car. Okay, I don't really think he's able to drive the car. He's not moving. He's also way bigger than the car. You can't even really see it. He doesn't really want to get in a boat either. I guess this guy doesn't like vehicles. In the game, you also get to play as Stinger Flynn, so I decided to give that one a try. He's kind of just vibing. Not much is really getting 
done. This is boring. I decided to give Stinger Flynn a 9 out of 10. If his legs moved, it would be a 10, but unfortunately, that's never gonna happen. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Queen Bouncelia. I used a Hoglin to make her. I colored her body purple, gave her a face, and then added her wand. I added her to the game, and her head was looking kind of broken, so I decided to fix that. Okay, that's still a little messed up, but it's good enough. Also, her feet are both on the same leg, but I'm not fixing that. Only one fix per mob. Since Queen Bouncelia was made from a Hoglin, I decided to go find her in the nether. I'm not usually a fan of these guys because they like to hit you from far away, but I guess for Queen Bouncelia, I'll make an exception. I decided to spawn an army of Queen Bouncelias, and then I made them all chase me. Hopefully, this doesn't happen in the actual game, because these guys are kind of scary. Also, their legs look kind of funny. I'm going to give Queen Bouncelia an 8 out of 10. Other than the broken stuff, she looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made an Opila chick. I used a parrot to make the Opila chick, and I decided to make the shiny one, or whatever you would call it. You probably wouldn't call it shiny, it's not a Pokemon. The Opila chicks are so tiny in game, and they actually kind of sound like the chicks from the actual game. I'm pretty sure Dodo birds can't fly, so that's kind of a problem, but other than that, they look great. In the game, you have to abduct all the Opila chicks and move them to their beds, so I decided to try that in Minecraft as well. What? Who is this? Where did the Opila chick go? That was interesting, but I mean it worked. I can also spawn a baby Opila bird, and it kind of looks like the default Opila chick texture. Although this one isn't as cool, all I can really do is feed it a bunch of seeds. Oh, that's not an Opila chick anymore. In Garden of Banban Ban 2, there are six Opila chicks, and in the first game, you feed Opila bird six eggs, so there's definitely some interesting birth methods going on there, so let's test to see if this is true. Wait, it actually worked. I decided to give the Opila chick a 10 out of 10. Overall, it looks looks really good, and you are even able to keep one of these as a pet. Wait, my bad, Opila Bird, I didn't know. Next, I'm going to make Slow Selene. Since Slow is literally in her name, I made her from a turtle. I gave her a big green shell, added her long neck, and then I gave her some bright white teeth. After that, I added her two large eyes, and I drew a swirl on each side of her shell. I think she turned out pretty good. The eyes and the mouth are really creepy, just like in the actual game. Let's see a baby Slow Selene. I like how it's just a really small version of the regular one. In the actual game, game, Slow Selene chases you down a hallway, so I decided to add that as well. Okay, this is actually kind of scary, she's just slowly approaching. She is also not looking away, so I guess I have to keep standing still. Because I made Slow Selene from a turtle, I can also put her in the water and she will be fine. Okay, she's not really that slow anymore. Imagine going to the beach and there was just a massive snail swimming around in the water. Probably happens in Florida. I decided to give Slow Selene a 9 out of 10. She looks really good in game, but she's kind of boring in general. It's time for for the next mob. In the game, there are seven different Fiddles crew members, so I made all of those next. I used a strider to make them all, and first I made brown Fiddles. This is the actual color used in the game. I don't really know how this is brown. Next, I made Cyan Fiddles, and there is a giant version of him in the game, but I don't know how to make that, so instead I just made a giant stack of Cyan Fiddles. I'm sure the ones on the top are fine. Next, I made Emerald Fiddles, and this is him in game, and then I made Orange Fiddles. Orange Fiddles only has one tooth. I wonder what happened to the other one. Pink Fiddles has two teeth, and apparently he is dead in the game, so I'm just gonna have to. Next, I made Red Fiddles, and he is my favorite because his eyes just stay like this forever. Like, how is he able to see anything? Here's me riding a Red Fiddles as well. He honestly looks better than the actual Strider. The last Fiddles is Yellow Fiddles, who apparently has a pirate-like appearance because of his missing eye. So, because of this, I am kidnapping him in a boat. I'm going to give the Fiddles a 63 out of 10. There's seven of them, so they get 7x the score. Next, I made Sheriff of Toaster. I mean Toadster. I made him a frog because that's probably what he is. I changed the shape of his body, colored him the same color as the McDonald's villain, and made his weird shaped head. Next, I added his teeth, and I gave him his badge on his chest. Finally, I colored in his belly, and gave him this little hat on top of his eye. I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't really look like he's smiling. Instead, he looks like the bully from Arthur. His arms are also completely broken. I'm pretty sure I attached them to his legs. Sheriff Toadster probably fights crime, so I'm going to steal no pillow chick in front of him and see what he does. He doesn't appear to be doing too much. He is jumping really high though, he definitely made it through police training. Maybe an army of Toadsters will stop me. I already knew they wouldn't, I don't know why I did this. Oh, I guess Sheriff Toadster is hungry. I'm going to give Sheriff Toadster a 7 
out of 10. He looks kind of weird, honestly. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Nab Nab. I made Nab Nab from a spider because he kind of looks like a spider. I gave him some long legs and arms, changed the shape of his body, and then I colored him fully blue. After that, I gave him some teeth, then I added his tongue, and finally I gave him three eyes. Okay, I don't think his legs are supposed to look like that. I fixed his legs, and then he looked a lot better in game. Well, I don't know about better, but putting him sideways actually makes him look scary. In the game, you get chased by Nab Nab, so I decided to try that in Minecraft. Yeah, this is definitely not something you want chasing you. It just looks so weird because in the actual game, he's on the roof and not on the ground. Nab Nab is also supposed to have a birthday hat, and I didn't even notice, so we'll just pretend I added a hat. Also, if you can't tell, Nab Nab is Ban Ban spelt backwards, so because of that, you should eat Dirk Bus. But I decided to get Sheriff Toadster to lock him up for good. He sure won't be escaping this jail, especially not through the vents. I decided to give Nab Nab a 6 out of 10. He looks kind of cursed. I'm sorry, Nab Nab. I meant 10, I swear. Next, I decided to make Zolfius. I don't know what Zolfius is, but he's big, so I made him from a ghast. Zolfius is just a circle with a face that looks like it was drawn by a one-year-old, so I decided to do that. The only difference is I'm not one years old, I think. I added Zolfius to the game, and it kind of reminds me of when I made Ambush. They look very similar. I would have to say that Zolfius is scarier, though. It's something about the amazing art skill required to make his face. I decided to visit the nether to find a wild Zolfius. He kind of looks like a ping pong paddle, so let's see who will win a game of ping pong, me or Zolfius. I don't think he wanted to play. I wonder what it will look like if I fill the whole sky with Zolfiuses. Yeah, this is a pretty good Minecraft experience. I literally cannot hear anything. I'm going to give Zolfius an 8 out of 10. He's a big flying drawing. How bad could he be? It's time for the next mob. Next, I'm making Mini Josh. It is unknown if Mini Josh will be hostile, but I'm assuming he is, so I made him from a silverfish because they are small and hostile. I deleted all of these things, added his legs, made his body bigger, and then I gave him some arms. After that, I added his head, colored him fully green, and then I added his eyes. Mini Josh looks like he's sad, so I gave him a sad mouth, and then I added him to the game. I was surprised with how he looks in game. All this waddling looks pretty weird. Also, none of his body parts move, which makes him look pretty bad. I decided to spawn Mini Josh with Jumbo Josh, and what happened next was shocking. I'm just kidding, you probably expected this. Next, I spawned an army of Mini Joshes, and then I made them fight Jumbo Josh. This is like a Mr. Beast video, 100 kids versus one adult. Mini Joshes could actually win this one, there's a lot of them. Never mind, Jumbo Josh seems to be invincible. I decided to give Mini Josh a 5 out of 10, he's kind of missing a lot of things, like moving arms and legs. It's time for the next mob. You're probably wondering where Jumbo Josh came from. I used the warden to make Jumbo Josh, and I gave him a big head, a creepy mouth, and then I added some green texture all around him. Jumbo Josh is massive in game, and he actually looks really good as the warden. Jumbo Josh also tells kids to eat fruits and vegetables to become strong like him, but honestly, I wouldn't let him near your kids. I went to the deep dark to see Jumbo Josh emerge from the ground, and then I fed him some fruit and vegetables like he says. Unfortunately, Jumbo Josh didn't want to eat the food, and instead, he wanted to eat me. I would say that I killed him to try and make myself look cool, but let's be honest, we all know what happened. I'm going to give Jumbo Josh a 10 out of 10, and that has nothing to do with him holding me hostage. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Ban Ban. I made Ban Ban from a wither skeleton. I colored him fully red, gave him some eyes and a mouth, and then I added his big tongue. I then gave him his birthday hats on his head, and finally I changed his arms a little bit. Apparently, changing his arms a little bit didn't matter though, because they fully disappeared in the game. Oh wait, they're inside of him. I decided to fix his arms, and this is how Ban Ban looks in game. I decided to visit the nether to try and find Ban Ban myself. Ignore the netherrack, I don't know how this got here. When you think of it, Ban Ban is a devil, so he's supposed to be in the nether. Wait, guys, I was just kidding. I didn't say that. To make things a little more cursed, I decided to replace all the heads on the Wither with the Ban Ban heads. Now let's see who will win, the Ban Ban, Wither, or Jumbo Josh. Why is Jumbo Josh not fighting back? Okay, now he's going crazy. Alright, Jumbo Josh couldn't do anything, Ban Ban was flying. I decided to give Ban Ban a 6 out of 10, he doesn't look that great. It's time for the next mob. Next, let's make Ban Bolina. I used a Wither skeleton for Ban Ban, so I made Ban Bolina from a skeleton. I copy pasted all of Ban Ban's body parts onto her, and then I colored her full white. Next, I gave her some eyes and drew her mouth, and then finally I added her pink bow on her horn thing. I forgot Banbelina also had a problem with her arms, so I had to fix it again. This is how Banbelina looks in game. She kind of looks like a weird bunny. I then spawned a Banbelina army and made them fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, they're all just fighting each other. Yeah, Jumbo Josh wins this easily. Banbelina is cool, but look at me spawn
spawning a bunch of crows. I then made Ban Ban fight Ban Balina to see who would win. I'm sorry, Ban Balina. I kind of already knew what would happen. I decided to give Ban Balina a 5 out of 10. It's not because I don't like her. It's just because I don't <laughs> like her. Next, I made Opilla Bird. I used a chicken to make Opilla Bird, and I gave her a long neck, some purple wings, and a yellow beak. I then added these creepy looking eyes to her and added her to the game. Opilla Bird actually looks pretty good as well, but the baby, not so much. At least I don't have to worry about her chasing me, though, because she's a chicken. Well, she'll chase me, but she's not gonna do anything, I think. In the game, Opilla Bird is supposed to fall into the ball pit, so I decided to test if she would survive a massive fall in Minecraft. She made it to the ground without taking damage. There is a mini game where you have to feed Opilla Bird six eggs, so I added that to the game as well. Kind of. I tried to swap Jumbo Josh and Opilla Bird's textures around to make a joke, but this just happened. Opilla Bird says laughter is the best medicine, so I'm asking you to laugh at that joke. Do it for her, not for me. I decided to give Opilla Bird an 8 out of 10 because she can't harm me for my opinion. Okay, really? Next, I made Captain Fiddles. I made Captain Fiddles from a strider. First, I shrunk his legs and made his body smaller. Next, I colored him fully blue and I gave him a mouth and some eyes. Then, finally, I added some arms and some hands. Captain Fiddles actually looks pretty good in game, other than the fact that his legs aren't attached. Also, he's a really good method of transportation. Okay, well, he's not that good. He's kind of slow, honestly. You can even spawn a baby Captain Fiddles for whatever reason. His legs are even more broken, but it's fine. It is said that Captain Fiddles is known for his love of music, so I decided to play a song for him. This was really bad. It's supposed to be the Rick Roll song. Sorry. <laughs> to test if Captain Fiddles is a real captain, I decided to give him control of a boat. I'm going to give Captain Fiddles a 9 out of 10 because there isn't that much wrong with him. I added every monster from Rainbow Friends Chapter 2 to Minecraft. First, I made Cyan, and I used a Ravager because they look exactly the same. I removed this stuff, colored her Cyan, and gave her some eyes. I added Cyan to the game, and she was actually looking pretty good. Oh wait, she's attacking all the villagers. I don't really want her to be doing that. That also made me notice that her legs look really bad when she's running, but other than that, she looks fine. She also has a really big shadow. That looks kind of funny. In the game, you get chased by Cyan, so I decided to see how that looks in Minecraft. Cyan is really fast in the actual game, and she's also pretty fast in Minecraft too, so that's pretty accurate. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. She looks really hungry. Oh wow, she also does a lot of damage. I can't let her hit me again. That would be bad. Since Cyan does so much damage, I decided to see if she can beat an iron golem in a fight. Okay, I don't even have to use the stick. They're already mad. Come on, Cyan. You can beat this guy easily. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. It looks like the iron golem can beat Cyan easily. Oh wait, why did she drop a saddle? That's kind of weird. I decided to give Cyan a 9 out of 10. She looks really good, and her chase in Minecraft is really accurate. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Yellow, and I decided to use a Hoglin to make him. I shrunk his whole body, colored him yellow, and gave him his propeller thing on his back. I added Yellow to the game, and I can't really tell if he looks good or bad. To be fair, Yellow is quite hard to make, so this honestly doesn't look that bad. He also has a big shadow, just like Cyan. That's really weird. Since Hoglins can't live in the overworld, I decided to go to the nether to find a wild yellow. Okay, here's a group of yellows that I definitely didn't spawn in. I found them naturally. Oh yeah, there's also a baby yellow, but I think something is wrong with him. Let me know in the comments if you can tell what's wrong with him. It's kind of hard to see. Since yellow is supposed to be able to fly, I decided to see if I can make yellow fly in Minecraft as well. Okay, now you might think hoglins can't fly, but there's actually a secret in Minecraft where if you look at the ground for three seconds and then look all the way up as fast as you can, you can make all the hoglins start to fly. It's definitely not a command, it's just a secret feature. I decided to give Yellow an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, he's just really hard to make. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Pink, and I made Pink from a zombie. I bent his legs, colored him pink, and gave him some eyes. Finally, I colored in his eyes, gave him a mouth, and then I added some small cheeks. I added Pink to the game, and he was burning. Okay, I should probably fix that. When Pink is not burning, he actually looks pretty good. There is a slight problem with his legs, they aren't really connected, but other than that, I'm not seeing anything wrong with him. Since Pink was supposed to be added to the game, I decided to make him battle Cyan and Yellow to get a spot in the game. First, we'll do Cyan versus Pink. Okay, that was kind of embarrassing. I don't think he even hit her. What about Yellow versus Pink? Okay, this fight is actually looking a little close. And Pink still died. I guess we know why he was benched from both chapters. I decided to spawn a baby Pink to see what he looks like, and he looked about the same as the big one. I will say the baby one runs a lot faster than the big one, though. This guy is going crazy. I decided to give Pink a 9 
9 out of 10. He honestly turned out pretty good, other than his legs. That's the only problem. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make orange, and we will make him from a wolf. Let's change the shape of his tail, and we'll rotate his body. Now, let's give him some arms, and we'll give him some teeth. Okay, these are way too big. That looks better. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys see the problem here. That should be good enough. Okay, his head definitely does not work, though. I guess wolves bend their head a lot. Let's spawn a baby orange. It's the same thing with a bigger head. Let's try to tame orange. Yeah, this is perfectly normal. Nothing is wrong here. Now he just has a big red square and his tail is broken. Let's spawn an army of oranges. And let's see them take down a skeleton. Okay, the skeleton got eaten in like two seconds. Come on, orange. Take down the warden. Oh no, that was fast. Alright, I'm going to give orange a 6 out of 10. He was kind of cursed. It's time for the next mob. Next, we are going to make purple. And we are going to make him from a frog. Let's delete all this stuff. And we'll change the shape of his body. Now let's color him purple. Now let's extend out his head. And we'll make it a little bit round. Now finally, let's give him some eyes. And we'll add some black pupils inside. Out of all the mobs to break, somehow this one isn't broken. Surprisingly, I think he looks really good. Okay, these vines need to get out of the way. What about a baby purple? Oh yeah, frogs don't have babies. Let's see purple eat this slime. Never mind, he's not hungry. Oh, never mind, he just attacked him. He looks so weird when he's swimming. Let's spawn an army of purples. Wow, purple jumps so high. The noise they make is really interesting. Let's see if purple can take down orange. Okay, I don't think purple knows how to fight. Let's spawn a bunch of slimes. Okay, they're all too big. I love how there's no animation, the slime just travels to their mouth. Alright, I'm going to give purple a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really funny. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made red, and we are going to make him from a strider. Let's remove his hair, and we'll shrink his body. Now, let's make him a bit shorter, and we'll color his head red, and let's color his pupils black, and finally, we'll give him a couple shoes, and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with his legs, but other than that, I think he looks good. Oh god, why does it take so long for his legs to turn? Let's go to the nether, and here we have a red walking on some lava. Okay, seriously, what happened to his legs? It's like they're backwards or something. I mean, now they're on the right side, but somehow that made it worse. Okay, that's close enough. We're just gonna ignore that. Let's ride a red. Wait, this is the wrong fishing rod. Okay, this looks weird like it usually does. Let's see a baby red. Okay, baby red just has no legs. Let's spawn an army of reds. Okay, red army, follow me. Isn't this weird? Because red is supposed to tell me what to do. Alright, I'm going to give red an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, we will make green, and we will make him from the warden. Let's shrink his body and head. Now let's color him fully green, and we'll color the back of his mouth black. Next, let's give him a bunch of white teeth, and we'll copy these to the top. Next, we'll extend out his eyes, and we'll make his eyes circular. Now, finally, let's draw his pupils, and that looks good. Let's see it in-game. I don't know how I feel about this one. There's something about the way he moves that is very terrifying. He's also very tall. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I'm not going to lie, he kind of looks like a cactus monster. Let's find green in the deep dark. Of course, we have to see him emerge from the ground. I'm not gonna lie, that might be scarier than the warden. I wonder how this thing looks when it's angry. We'll give him a sheep that he can't hit. I'm sorry, sheep. Okay, that wasn't that cool. Let's spawn an army of greens, and let's see if the flash can beat them. Oh, he's running at him. Yeah, the flash will not win that. I give the green rainbow friend a 10 out of 10. He's honestly scarier than the warden. It's time for the next mob. Next, we are going to make blue, and we are going to make him from an iron golem. Let's make his arms a bit smaller, and we'll do the same for his legs. Now, let's change the shape of his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's add his crown, and we'll color it yellow. Next, we'll add the spiky parts on top, and we'll add his eyes, and let's put the circle inside this one, and we'll add the X to the other one. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll put the drool on the side, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in-game. That looks pretty good, I think. Let's see if blue can beat Gordon Ramsay. Easily. Let's see if blue can beat Thor and Gordon Ramsay. Still too easy. Let's see if blue can beat Sully. Yeah, blue literally had no chance. Let's spawn an army of blues. Oh no. Oh god, this is bad. I think I spawned a little too many. There's so many of them, they can't even move. Sully's not even fighting back. He knows he's doomed. Never mind. Wow, he actually almost beat them. Well, he almost beat like 3% of them. I'm going to give Blue a 10 out of 10. I think he looks perfect. I added every fan-made Garden of Ban Ban monster to Minecraft. First, I made Admiral Krusty, and I'm using a spider for him because crabs are kind of like spiders. I deleted these things, colored him red, and then I added his claws. I added Admiral Krusty to the game, and he was honestly looking pretty good. I think this is probably one of my best looking mobs I've made so far. This actually looks a lot like him. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have boots on his back legs though, so that's not good. But other than that, he looks great. I decided to spawn an army 
me of Admiral Krusty's, and then I got them all to chase me. I don't know why, but this actually looks kind of scary, and I'm not just saying that. It's something about the way their legs move. These are probably just the crabs getting revenge for being locked in a tank at the grocery store. Since Admiral Krusty is a water mob, I decided to see if he can beat a guardian in a fight. Come on, Admiral Krusty, you're the king of the water. You got this. Okay, this fight is taking a really long time. What is going on? And after all that, he still didn't win. I guess Admiral Krusty isn't the king of the water. He lost to a regular guardian, not even an elder guardian. I decided to give Admiral Krusty a 10 out of 10. I really like how he looks. He's one of my favorite mobs so far. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Mr. Grimm, and I used a warden to make him because I felt like it. I don't know why. I changed the shape of his body, colored him black, and added some ear things to the side of his head. Next, I gave him a mouth, added some eyes, and gave him teeth. Okay, I don't know why, but he looked really weird before, so I changed everything, and now he looks a lot better. I added Mr. Grimm to the game, and he actually looked kind of scary, but not in a good way. I don't know why, but this dude kind of looks like Santa. I think it's his mouth. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be a beard. I decided to go to the deep dark, and then I made a Mr. Grimm emerge from the ground. Mr. Grimm is a magician, so it makes sense for him to do that. It's honestly a pretty good magic trick. I never even noticed this before, but his animations don't really fit him. It kind of looks broken. I decided to spawn an army of Mr. Grimm's, and then I did the usual. Oh no, they're angry. Why do these guys look so weird when they chase you? Like, look at their head. What is going on? Maybe I should have connected their head to the body, because that looks really weird. I decided to give Mr. Grimm a 7 out of 10. I'm not really sure if he looks good or not. He looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Nighty Boo, and I used a phantom to make him because a bat is a little too small. I changed the shape of his body, colored him green, and then I added his ears. Next, I added his hat, gave him some eyes, and then I made his other face on the bottom. I added Nighty Boo to the game, and I honestly can't really tell if he looks good or not. It's very hard to see his faces. Okay, I guess that looks pretty good. I'm not sure if he really matches the actual Nighty Boo, though. I also don't know why he has these particles on his wings. I guess I'm not up to date on phantom lore. All I know about phantoms is that they're very annoying. Since phantoms like to fight, let's see if Nighty Boo can beat Admiral Krusty. Okay, I'm not really sure if this is supposed to happen. He's just flying up in the air. Okay, I guess Nighty Boo doesn't want to fight. He only fights humans. I spawned an army of Nighty Boos, and then I tested to see how fast they can kill me. Okay, why is it actually kind of hard to dodge them when there's this many? I must have not slept for weeks, because this many phantoms is absurd. Wait, I think I found a way to beat them. They can't catch me. I decided to give Nighty Boo an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but he doesn't really look like the actual Nighty Boo. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Patched Willy, and I didn't really know what to use for this one, so I just used the Ender Dragon. I deleted all this stuff, shaped him into a worm, and then I added his tongue. After that, I colored him in, gave him some spikes, and added all of his eyes. I added Patch Willy to the game, and I don't really know what happened to him. How did he get this tail and neck? That definitely wasn't there on Blockbench. It would definitely make him look a lot better, though, if only the tail had purple on it, too. I will say this guy kind of reminds me of when I made PJ Pugapillar. They're just so similar because of the stripes. There isn't really much you can do with Patch Willy other than wait for him to perch. That actually looks kind of good when he turns around, other than the parts with both colors. And he also looks like he's doing the worm when he's perched, so that definitely fits him. Since there isn't anything to do with Patch Willy, I decided to see if Mr. Grimm can kill him. Okay, I don't really know if he knows where Patched Willy is. He doesn't seem to be attacking him. Yeah, I can't even make them fight with the wand. This is unfortunate. I decided to give Patched Willy a 5 out of 10. He doesn't really look right, and he's also really boring. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Admiral Krusty's crew member, and I made him from an iron golem because he looks kind of buff. I changed his body, colored him blue, and then I gave him new arms. After that, I added his beak, gave him an eye patch, and then I added his other eye. I added him to the game, and he didn't really look that good. I mean, he doesn't really look that bad either, but he just doesn't look like the guy in the picture. He looks way less scary. He also kind of looks like that bean guy. I don't know what his name is. Since this guy doesn't have a name, or at least I don't think he does, I'm going to call him Crewmate Chicken, because he kind of looks like a chicken, if that's what he's supposed to be. Since a guardian killed Admiral Krusty earlier, I decided to see if Crewmate Chicken could avenge him. Okay, he easily killed him. I see why this guy is on Admiral Krusty's crew, but since he's only a crew member, let's see if he can beat Admiral Krusty in a fight. Okay, he can easily do that. I don't see why this guy isn't the captain. I decided to give Crewmate Chicken an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look perfect, but he also isn't that bad. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Doom Doom, and we'll use a Ravager to make him. I shrunk his legs, changed his arms, and then I shaped his head. Next, I colored him yellow, gave him some hair, and added his eyes. I added Doom Doom to the game, and he was actually looking pretty good. He looks really angry, and I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a bull, so that's probably accurate. Bulls are always angry for some reason. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be moving a lot faster, though. The actual Doom Doom charges at the speed of light, but maybe it's because he has no one to charge at yet, so let's get him to charge me. I think I'm supposed to be holding out red wool to 
make him mad. Okay, I was right. Now he's a lot faster. Also, his head is really glitchy, but we'll just ignore that. I already said he looked good. I decided to spawn a Smiley Miley, and then I tested to see who would win in a fight. I don't really think Smiley Miley has any chance. Doom Doom is huge. Look at his head when he attacks. It looks so weird. Yeah, Doom Doom barely took any damage. I guess he's just too OP. I decided to give Doom Doom a 9 out of 10. I really liked how he turned out. He's a scary looking bull. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Hungry Tammy, and we'll make him from a wither. I removed all this stuff, shrunk his head, and then I colored him blue. Next, I added his tongue, gave him some eyes, and added his arms. I added Hungry Tammy to the game, and he was actually looking pretty scary. He probably shouldn't be going on a rampage like this, but I guess it fits his character. Also, his legs shouldn't be floating. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to walk. But other than that list of things that are wrong, he actually looks pretty good. Oh wait, there's also another problem. Apparently, his head isn't connected. Since Hungry Tammy is probably really hungry, it says it in his name. I decided to give him some food next. Okay, I don't think he wants to eat the food. What about in living form? Okay, that's much better. Now he's eating. I decided to spawn a Doom Doom, and then I made him fight Hungry Tammy to see who would win. Okay, this is probably the most unfair fight yet. Doom Doom has no way of attacking him. He's taking a lot of hits, though. He seems pretty strong. Rip Doom Doom. But if you think of it, he is just a giant cow, so that's probably why he lost. I decided to give Hungry Tammy a 9 out of 10. He looks really good, but his legs shouldn't be floating. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Zolflina. And we already have Zolfius, so we're just gonna use this. I colored her pink, added some outlines on her eyes and mouth, and then I gave her a bow. I added Zolflina to the game, and she was honestly looking pretty good. It's kind of hard for her not to look good, though. She's not really a hard monster to make. I will say that her eyes are a little messed up, though. I don't remember it looking like this in Block Bench. Also, I don't know why every time I try to look at her, she looks away. It's really annoying. Since Hungry Tammy is in the screenshot with Zolflina, I decided to make them fight. Okay, I don't think Hungry Tammy is able to fight, and also Zolflina's fireballs do no damage, so this fight will literally go on forever. Or maybe they're just friends and it's supposed to be like this. I went to the nether to find a wild Zolflina, and she honestly looks a lot better in the nether. Her color seems to blend in a lot better here. And then I spawned an army of Zolflinas, and I made them attack me. I don't know why I do this every time. They're just bullying me at this point. I decided to give Zolflina an 8 out of 10. She looks how she's supposed to, but I don't know how much I like her. Next, I made Smiley Miley, and I used an Enderman because she's really tall. I changed her body, colored her blue, and finally I gave her some eyes. Smiley Miley ended up looking really good in game. Well, her face is a little creepy, but I'm still calling it good. Oh, her legs also don't seem to be attached when she walks, but it's fine. She still looks good. Since I made her from an Enderman, I decided to look her in the eyes, and then this happened. Okay, I think there is something wrong with her head, but I can't really tell what. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, please stop. I decided to go to the end to find some more Smiley Miley's, and then I obviously got them to chase me. When will I stop getting mobs to chase me? Probably never. I decided to give Smiley Miley an 8 out of 10. She looks good, but she was a little broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sharky Klee, and I used a warden to make him. First, I changed his body, then I colored him black, and finally I added the fins on his head. I added Sharky Klee to the game, and he actually ended up looking pretty scary, which is good because I made him from a warden. I decided to go to the deep dark to find Sharky Klee, and then I watched him emerge from the ground. I feel like this guy should be the actual warden. He seems to fit the job perfectly. I spawned an army of Sharky Klees, and then I got them all to chase me. What a nice day to go for a swim. I hope there aren't any sharks out here. Wait, where do they go? Oh, there they are. I went too far. I probably should have stayed away, though. This isn't looking good. I decided to give Sharky Klee a 10 out of 10. He honestly looks really good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Slime Rancher, and I used a slime to make him because it's in his name. First, I made him bigger, then I colored him a different green, and finally, I gave him some eyes. I've never remade a slime before, so hopefully this works. Oh, it actually worked. I didn't expect that. And I didn't expect him to be this big. I think this is the biggest mob I've made yet. Oh, I guess we'll ignore the back here. I didn't realize that would happen. Mojang should change the real slimes to this guy. If he was in the game, I would never enter a super flat world again. I spawned an army of slime ranchers, and it was actually pretty cool because of the different sizes of slimes. I feel like the small one is the size I thought it would be. I also spawned a really big slime rancher, and this looks like something from a really bad horror movie. Pro is terrorizing the city. I decided to see if Slime Rancher could beat Smiley Miley because I honestly didn't know. Okay, it looks like Slime Rancher just doesn't attack. That's unfortunate. And the babies don't want to avenge him either. R.I.P. I decided to give Slime Rancher a 10 out of 10. He looked really good, especially the massive one. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sad Seth, and I decided to use a Wither Skeleton for this one. I changed the shape of his body, colored him red, and then I gave him some extra arms. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I like this guy that much. The bottom eyes kind of look out of place, and also 
Also, the sword he is holding just shouldn't be there. Actually, I can get rid of the sword. I forgot. It doesn't make him much better, though. You're not even able to see some of his arms. Also, when he walks, his arms go through his body. That's great. Okay, I'm just hating. It's time to move on. Let's see if Sad Seth can beat Smiley Miley in a fight. I honestly think Sad Seth should win this one, because he is a wither. Okay, it appears I'm wrong. Smiley Miley is just built different. I'm sorry, Sad Seth, but I gotta do it. You let me down. I decided to give Sad Seth a 6 out of 10. He looks fine, but he's just too broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Froggy Quack, and I decided to make him from an iron golem. First, I changed his body. Next, I colored him green. And finally, I added his head on the top. Okay, he actually looks a lot better than I thought he would. I thought for sure the head on top would look weirder. I will say the iron golem animations actually fit him pretty well, too. Nothing is broken. But I don't know, he's kind of a weird-looking monster in general, so I'm not gonna say he looks perfect. I decided to spawn a Sharky Klee, and then both of them started fighting before I even did anything. I thought these guys would be friends, I wasn't trying to make them fight. I decided to spawn 5 Froggy Quacks, and then I made them all fight Sharky Klee for revenge. I'm not gonna lie, I still don't know if these guys can win, they're kinda getting destroyed. Yeah, I don't know, it's not looking good. Come on, Froggy Quack. Okay, I guess 6 Froggy Quacks isn't enough to take out Sharky Klee. I decided to give Froggy Quack an 8 out of 10, he didn't look that bad, but he wasn't the best either. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Whaley Bow. I made him from a pillager. I shrunk his limbs, colored him blue, and then I gave him some eyes. I added Whaley Bow to the game, and he seemed kind of scared. Like, why is he just aiming his bow at me? Oh, it's probably because Sharky Klee is right there, and sharks eat whales. But honestly, I can't really tell if this guy looks good or bad. Like, he looks like the picture, so that's good. But he also kind of looks like a weird cartoon character, and I'm not sure if he's supposed to be like that. I decided to spawn an army of Whaley Bows, and then I spawned one Froggy Quack to see if they can kill him. Alright, Whaley Bow already lost to the shark, but can he beat the frog? Okay, I'm not really sure if they can do it, they're just shooting each other instead of him. He seems to be taking damage really fast though, so it's possible that they could win. No way, the whales actually did it. Maybe they aren't so bad after all. I decided to give Whaley Bow an 8 out of 10. It would have been lower, but I raised it because they defeated Froggy Quack. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Toxic Gazer, and I made him from a witch because they like to throw poison. I changed his arms a bit, gave him a longer neck, and then I colored him green. Next, I gave him an eye, and finally I added these weird things that hang off his face. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about this guy. His face looks kind of weird. I think it's the things that are hanging off his head. They don't look anything like the actual monster. I will say the rest of him looks pretty accurate, though. Since Toxic Gazer is toxic, let's see him throw a bottle of poison at me. That's not poison, that's slowness. Oh wait, there we go. That was kind of rude. Don't worry, I got him back. Wait, why is he drinking Zolfius juice? What is going on? I decided to spawn a Whaley Bow, and then I made them fight to see who would win. This is such a weird fight because neither of them can melee, but it looks like Toxic Gazer is gonna lose. He seems to have no interest in the fight anymore. Okay, this just isn't ending. I guess it's a tie. I decided to give Toxic Gazer a 6 out of 10. I didn't really like the way he looked. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Chili. I decided to use a Creeper for Chili. First, I removed his head. Next, I colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. After that, I added his eye, gave him some teeth, and finally, I added his horns. I added Chili to the game, and he actually looked really good. I kind of expected this guy to look bad because he looks really goofy in general, but he might be one of my favorites so far. I will say that his red nose is really bothering me though. It makes him look like a clown. Since Chili is a creeper, I decided to see a supercharged Chili next. Okay, the charge isn't really meant for him. This is kind of cursed. I decided to spawn a toxic gazer, and then I tested to see if a regular Chili can kill him. Okay, he actually survived, and I respect it, honestly. He just stood there and took the blast. He didn't even try to run. I decided to give Chili a 10 out of 10. I don't know why, but I really like him. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made evil Zolfius. I already have Zolfius, so I just removed his old face, added some white eyes, and gave him a way scare your mouth. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure regular Zolfius is evil already, so this guy must be a menace. I'm scared of what he'll do to me for even looking at him, but I will say he actually looks really good. I think the red under his eyes made him look a lot better. This also reminds me of some of the doors monsters I made, because a lot of them look like this. I decided to go to the nether to find an evil Zolfius, and then I decided to have a ping pong match with him. Okay, that wasn't really fair, he was stuck in the ground. I spawned an army of evil Zolfiuses, and then I decided to see how long it would take them to kill me. Okay, off to a good start, they already hit me. This looks like something you would find in your house at 3am. Okay, I'm dead, but that actually took a while, these guys kinda suck. I decided to give evil Zolfius an 8 out of 10, he looks pretty good, but I think I prefer normal Zolfius. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sandy Jacks, and I used a frog to make him, cause why not? I got rid of all this stuff, expanded his body, and then I colored him brown. I added Sandy Jacks to the game, and I'm not gonna lie, he was looking kinda
kind of strange. This guy looks kind of like a diglet with a crown, and I don't know why, but he also looks like some kind of Burger King mascot. Oh, and he could also look like Mr. Potato Head, I guess. At least he can jump high. That is something good about him. I decided to spawn a baby Sandy Jax, which isn't a real thing, and then I spawned a tiny slime rancher for him to eat. Wow, he ate that thing instantly. I guess he was hungry. I decided to give Sandy Jax a 5 out of 10. I don't really like him. He looks weird. Next, I made Hunky Jake, and I used a warden. I changed the shape of his body, colored him pink, and then I added his hat. I added Hunky Jake to the game, and he was actually looking pretty good. Okay, maybe his animations don't really match him, but if he isn't moving, he looks fine. I also just noticed that his head keeps going into his body, but unfortunately, it's gonna stay like that. Since Hunky Jake looks really strong, let's see if he can beat an iron golem. Okay, this was stupid. He obviously can beat an iron golem. He's a warden. Since Hunky Jake is a warden, I decided to go find him in the deep dark. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. I was expecting the animation to be broken. I decided to spawn an army of Hunky Jakes, and then I watched them all chase me. Oh no, they're getting angry. Yeah, I wouldn't want this to happen to me. They look so scary with no legs. I decided to give Hunky Jake a 9 out of 10. His animations are broken, but he looks good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made the Jester. I used a pillager for the Jester. I colored one half purple, added some spikes, and then I gave him some eyes. I added the Jester to the game, and he looked pretty good. He looks a lot better than I thought he would. His face looked kind of weird in block bench. He also needs to stop aiming the bow at me. I'm not hostile. Next, I decided to see who would win. The Jester or Hunky Jake? I think we already know what's gonna happen. Yeah, the Jester got one hit. He had no chance. I decided to spawn an army of Jesters, and then I put them all against Hunky Jake. Okay, they might be able to win this time. There's a lot of them. That is if they stop shooting each other. Yeah, Hunky Jake wins this one too. Hopefully, the Jester is more powerful in the real game. I decided to give the Jester an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but also kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Evil Bambolina. For this one, I used a piglin. I colored her white, added some creepy eyes, and then I gave her some horns. Oh, that's not a piglin, that's a pig. Evil Bambolina actually looks really good in game. She might be even better than Evil Ban Ban. Oh yeah, she turns into a zombie. We have to go to the nether. But as I was saying, she actually looks really scary, even in Minecraft. Come on, Bambolina, give me some pearls. No, that's not what I wanted. I decided to spawn a baby Bambolina, and it looked just as scary, and then I spawned an army of evil Bambolinas. Oh, some of them have drip. After that, I decided to get chased by all the Bambolinas. I won't be late for class again, I'm sorry. I guess she doesn't want to send me to the principal's office. I decided to give evil Bambolina a 10 out of 10. She actually looks pretty scary in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sharp Claw, and I used an iron golem to make him. I changed the shape of his body, colored him pink, and then I added his eyes. Okay, this actually looks pretty good in game. Well, at least he looks like the picture. His nails are also really dirty. This guy definitely needs a shower. Sharp Claw kind of looks like Barney, so let's see if he's a friendly dinosaur. Okay, I don't think he wants to be friends. He's kind of mean, actually. Because he's so mean, I decided to make him fight Hunky Jake. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. We already know Hunky Jake can beat an Iron Golem from earlier. But what about four Sharp Claws? Okay, one is already dead. This isn't looking good. Dang, Hunky Jake is crazy. Yeah, I guess four Sharp Claws can't take this guy out. He's invincible. I decided to give Sharp Claw a 7 out of 10. I'm disappointed that four of them couldn't kill a Hunky Jake. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Charlie Cake. I decided to make him from a creeper. I deleted all this stuff, shaped him into a cake, and then I colored him in. After that, I drew his faces, added these things, and gave him some eyes. I don't think this is the right cake. He doesn't appear to be moving. Charlie Cake actually looks pretty decent, but I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a lot bigger. I don't know how he ended up this small. I will say he looks like he tastes a lot better than the actual cake, though. Hey, man, I was just kidding. I'm not gonna eat you. I decided to see a baby Charlie Cake, and then I realized that isn't real, so instead Instead, I spawned a supercharged Charlie Cake. Okay, I think the charge is a little bit tall for him. Oh, and the head is also moving. That's kind of weird. I decided to spawn a Sharp Claw, and then I tested if supercharged Charlie Cake can one-shot him. Oh wow, that actually did a lot of damage, and he wasn't even really close to him, so he probably could have killed him. Here you go, Sharp Claw. I'll fix you up. I decided to give Charlie Cake a 7 out of 10. I don't really like how he looks. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Cyclopus. I used a Hoglin to make him. First, I deleted all this stuff. Next, I colored him in and then I gave him an eye. After that, I gave him teeth, added his arms, and I put the collar around his arm. Cyclopus actually looks pretty good in game, but I'm not sure why he is shaking. Oh yeah, he turns into a zombie. That's why he's shaking. I went to the nether to go and find Cyclopus, and this is how he looks without the shake. I'm not gonna lie, he looks kind of like Stinky Joel from the last video, except he's red. This guy is walking a lot slower though, and he looks like he wants to eat me for dinner. What about a baby Cyclopus? Okay, this guy is way too small. I don't think he can even jump up one block. I decided to spawn an army of cyclopses and then I made them all chase me.
me. I don't know why they're so much faster now that they want to kill me. This is unfair. Okay, I need to stop getting chased by things. This is like the third time this video. Cyclopus and Evil Banbelina are both nether mobs, so I decided to see who would win in a fight. Banbelina has a bow. She should be able to win this one. Okay, never mind. Cyclopus actually won. I decided to give Cyclopus an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Crabzilla. I made Crabzilla from a strider. I moved his legs, shaped his body, and then I colored him red. After that, I gave him some eyes and some claws. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not what his legs are supposed to look like. I don't know how this always happens. I tried to fix his legs and this is what Crabzilla looked like in game. I'm not gonna lie, he looks pretty good other than when his body randomly turns without his legs. But stuff like that is normal around here, so he looks good. I spawned a baby Crabzilla and he looked about the same, except for his feet sinking into the ground. And then I decided to ride a Crabzilla. Okay, so I'm kind of sitting on his eyes, so I'm not sure if he can see. Yeah, there's definitely mobs that look good when you ride them, and this is not one of them. Also, I like how the baby is just following us around. That's kind of funny. I decided to give Crabzilla a 9 out of 10. He looks looks good, but his body is broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Mr. Smitty. I used a Vindicator to make him. I shrunk his legs and arms, colored him pink, and then I shaped his head. Next, I gave him some nostrils, added his eyes, and then I put the orange things on his back. Okay, Mr. Smitty actually looks pretty good in game. I like how his arms are crossed like that. It makes him look cool. But other than that, I don't know. He looks kind of boring. Since Mr. Smitty is a Vindicator, I decided to see if he can beat Sharp Claw in a fight. These guys kind of look like relatives. I think Mr. Smitty is Sharp Claw's little brother. He fought him like his little brother too. He got destroyed. Since Mr. Smitty lost to Sharp Claw, I decided to feed him a villager to make him happy. I don't like him as much with the axe out. He looks kind of scary. RIP villager, Mr. Smitty was too fast. I decided to give Mr. Smitty a 6 out of 10. I'm not sure why, but I don't really like him. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Remy. Remy is a dog, so I used a wolf. I colored him orange, shaped his mouth, and then I gave him some eyes. After that, I added his teeth, and finally I gave him some feet. I added Remy to the game and he looked a little bit better than he did in Block Bench. I'm not gonna lie, he looked pretty bad in Block Bench though, so at least this is a little bit better. I wish I could say the same for the baby one though. Why is his head so big? Don't worry guys, nothing to see here. I decided to tame a Remy and this is what he looks like when he's sitting down. I don't know why, but this reminds me of the dog from Mickey Mouse. Maybe he's supposed to be a scary version of him or something. To see if he really is scary, I decided to make him fight Evil Banbelina. Okay, he can't be making those noises when he gets hit. I feel bad. Wow, he actually almost lost. That one was close. I'm going to give Remy a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he isn't really good either. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Last Cat. I used a cat for this one, obviously. I moved his legs, colored him pink, and then I shaped his head. Next, I colored his mouth, gave him some eyes, and finally, I gave him some teeth. Okay, this one is probably one of the worst mobs I've made, but it also looks pretty good for what it is. Like, I can't really see how I could have made this better. He just looks bad in general. What about a baby last? Cat. Okay, this is just too small. It kind of looks like a mouse. I decided to tame a last cat, and this is what he looks like when he is sitting down. Okay, I think there's something wrong with his front legs. They aren't really connected anymore. Since last cat is a cat and Remy is a dog, I decided to see which one of them will win in a fight. Okay, I guess dogs are stronger than cats. This settles it. I decided to give last cat a 6 out of 10. He looks worse than Remy. Next, I made Fairy Aruru. And I know she's gonna be in the actual game, but I'm still making her. I colored her body purple, gave her a face, and then added her wand. I added her to the game and her head was looking kind of broken, so I decided to fix that. Okay, that's still a little messed up, but it's good enough. Also, her feet are both on the same leg, but I'm not fixing that. Only one fixed per mob. Oh yeah, I forgot that happens. Since Fairy Aruru was made from a hoglin, I decided to go find her in the nether. I'm not usually a fan of these guys because they like to hit you from far away, but I guess for Fairy Aruru, I'll make an exception. Since Ban Ban is also a nether mob, I decided to see who would win. Ban Ban or Fairy Aruru? Dang, Ban Ban's going in. Wait, Ban Ban actually won that. I thought Fairy Aruru was gonna win, not gonna lie. I decided to spawn an army of fairies, and then I made them all chase me. Hopefully this doesn't happen in the actual game, because these guys are kind of scary. Also, their legs look kind of funny. I'm going to give Fairy Aruru an 8 out of 10. Other than the broken stuff, she looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Tall Victor. I used an Enderman for Tall Victor because he's tall. I colored him fully green, added these things on the bottom, and then I gave him an eye. After that, I added his goofy mouth, gave him a broccoli head, and fixed his arms a little bit. I added Tall Victor to the game, and he actually ended up looking pretty good. He looks kind of funny when he walks, though. I don't really think it's supposed to look like that. Since Tall Victor is supposed to be a vegetable, it only makes sense to make him fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, yeah, Victor had no chance. Jumbo Josh eats too many vegetables. 
I went to the end to find more tall victors, and then I got them all to chase me. I don't even know if this is scary, his face looks kinda goofy. Okay, well even if it's not scary, it's still deadly. Tall Victor, you better apologize for killing me or I'm not looking away. I'm going to give Tall Victor a 9 out of 10, he honestly looks pretty good, especially as a meal. Next I made Nibbler. I decided to make Nibbler from a wither, cause well, I don't know, I just never used the wither. I kinda forgot to record me making Nibbler, so here's me adding some orange things on his arms, cause that's all I have. I spawned the Nibbler in game, and he was honestly looking pretty crazy. Ignore the black spot on the bottom, I didn't know this would happen. I'm pretty sure Nibbler doesn't fly around and attack random mobs, so I don't think this is accurate. I'm also not sure if you see it, but he kinda looks like the guy from Monsters Inc. There's honestly not much to do with this guy, so I decided to see if he can beat Jumbo Josh. Jumbo Josh is the most powerful Ban Ban mob so far, but he might lose this one. Yeah, Nibbler's health bar is barely moving, this isn't looking good. Come on Jumbo Josh, you can win this one. Okay, I was lying. Lying. There's no way he was winning this one. I guess I'm gonna have to step in and end this. Yeah, I had even less chance than Jumbo Josh. Nibbler is too good. I decided to give Nibbler an 8 out of 10. I honestly can't really tell if he looks good or bad, so I'm just gonna go with good. It's time for the next mob. Next I made Miss Luna. I decided to make her from a bee because I think she's a bug. I colored her body purple, gave her some eyes, and then I added her crown. After that I added her dress, gave her some legs, and finally added her wings. She actually ended up looking pretty good in game. The flying suits her well. I will say her eyes look kinda weird though, she looks sad. I decided to spawn a baby Miss Luna and it looked exactly the same, I don't really know what I was expecting. Miss Luna is probably pretty good at fighting so I decided to put that to the test. Okay, maybe I was wrong, she didn't even really fight. I spawned an army of Miss Lunas and then I decided to make them all follow me. Okay, this one isn't that scary. Oh wait, why is she upside down? Wait, I just noticed that bees like to attack Zoglins for some reason. Look at them all ganging up on the Zoglin, like what is going on? I decided to give Miss Luna an 8 out of 10. She looks really good, but she doesn't really do anything. She's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. Next I made Dr. Fluffy Pants. I made him from a panda. I moved his head, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. Next I added his eyes, gave him some ear things, and made the heart on his chest. Dr. Fluffy Pants is definitely an interesting name for a guy like this, he looks kinda buff. Also we'll ignore his head, I know it's broken but I don't care. Wait, look at him rolling around, that's kinda crazy. Since I made him from a panda, I decided to feed Dr. Fluffy Pants some bamboo. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with him, this is not okay. I decided to spawn a baby Dr. Fluffy Pants and this is what happened. Well the good thing is I can't break him by feeding him bamboo, the bad thing is his head is floating high higher than before by default. Oh wait, they're following me because I'm holding bamboo, I didn't even realize. Since Dr. Fluffy Pants is a doctor, I decided to see if he can perform an operation. Alright, I guess he doesn't feel like doing it, he's just gonna leave this villager to die. I decided to give Dr. Fluffy Pants a 7 out of 10. I like how he looks, but his head is broken, we can't excuse that. It's time for the next mob. Next I made Chef Pigster, and I made him from a pig. I gave him his face on his chest, added his other head on the top, and then I gave him some sideways arms. Chef Pigster Pigster actually looks pretty good in game, but I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a lot bigger. His arms also don't move with his head, but I'm not fixing that. Chef Pigster is supposed to be a chef, so I decided to see if he can cook me a meal. I probably shouldn't have chosen a pork chop, that's kinda messed up. After that I decided to spawn a baby Chef Pigster. I kinda forgot that all the baby pigs have this weird thing with their head. Also there's an eye on his back, not sure how I didn't notice that. I spawned an army of Chef Pigsters, and then I made them all follow me. Yeah, this definitely isn't scary at all. I decided to give Chef Pigster an 8 out of 10, his bottom head looks really good. Not the top head though, I don't know what this is. Next I made Coach Pickles. I used a strider to make him because he kind of resembles a strider. I made his legs a lot bigger, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. Next I added his trunk, gave him some weird looking eyes, and then I added his ears. Okay, I'm pretty sure something is wrong, but I can't really tell what. I fixed his legs, and this is how he looks in game. He honestly looks pretty good. Okay, his other foot is attached to the wrong leg still, but I'm just gonna leave it. Also, we ignore the missing texture here. It doesn't look like that in block bench. Coach Pickles probably coaches some sort of sports team, so let's see if he can beat me in a snowball fight. Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's see what a baby Pickles looks like. He looks just about as cursed as the big one. I decided to ride a Coach Pickles, and I'm pretty sure that something doesn't look right. I'm going to give Coach Pickles a 7 out of 10. He honestly looks kinda weird. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Nab Nalina. I already made Nab Nab, so I just took the Nab Nab model and changed it a little bit. First, I made the tongue a different shape, then I fixed her eyes, 
and finally I colored her pink. This is kind of weird. For some reason, she looks just like Nab Nab. I also forgot that Nab Nalina is supposed to have a bow on her head, so I added that. When I made Nab Nab, I got him to chase me, so I had to get chased by Nab Nalina as well. This looks just as scary as last time. I also found a way to make it look like Nab Nalina is chasing me on a roof, just like how Nab Nab does in the game. Well, she doesn't chase me, but it looks like she's on a roof, so that's cool. I decided to have a fight between Chef Pigster and Nab Nalina, and you will never expect what happened next. Okay, it was kind of obvious what would happen, I'm just bored. I decided to give Nab Nalina a 6 out of 10, because that's what I gave Nab Nab, and they look the same. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Hunter Tim. I made Hunter Tim from a Ravager. First, I made his head bigger, then I colored him purple, and I added some hair to his head. I also gave him a big wide mouth, added his eyes, and gave him a couple of arms and feet. Hunter Tim looks kind of strange in game, but at least nothing is broken this time. I think. Since Hunter Tim is a Ravager, let's see him take on a villager. Wow, he's fast. His head looks kind of weird when he attacks, but that's fine. Also, I'm pretty sure hunters aren't supposed to kill villagers, they're supposed to kill animals to feed the villagers. But I guess Hunter Tim is just built different. To see if he really is built different, I decided to challenge him to a fight. Yeah, I had zero chance, I can't even tell where I was supposed to be hitting. I decided to spawn an army of Hunter Tims, and then I made them fight a warden. The warden seems to be killing a lot of them, but they might actually win this. Dang, the Hunter Tims actually won. I mean, it was a 10v1, so it's not really an accomplishment, but I'm still surprised. I'm going to give Hunter Tim an 8 out of 10, he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. For the next mob, I made Stinky Joel. I used an iron golem to make him. I shaped his body, colored him green, and then I added these teeth things. After that, I gave him some eyes, colored his legs, and then I rotated his arms a bit. I don't think I even have to say something is broken, because you already know it is. I fixed his arms, which took a while, because I somehow put both arms on the wrong side, and this is how Stinky Joel looks in game. He kinda stinks. I'm just kidding, he doesn't actually look that bad. I decided to see who would win in a fight, Stinky Joel or Hunter Tim. This fight is actually a lot closer than I thought. Stinky Joel won. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought Hunter Tim had that. Will he beat two Hunter Tims though? Nope, two Hunter Tims is too many for him. I spawned an army of Stinky Joels, and honestly, I'm not sure why. I didn't even do anything with them. I then gave Stinky Joel a bottle of Dragon's Breath because that's the stinkiest thing I could find, and then I decided to give him a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he isn't interesting enough. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Noodles Ninja. Since Noodles Ninja looks like a jellyfish, I decided to make him from an Elder Guardian. I removed all this stuff, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. After that, I added his eyes, added some noodles on the side, and then I gave him some arms and legs. Surprisingly, nothing broke with this one. His legs are in the ground, but he's supposed to be in the water anyway, so that's fine. Also, the sound he makes is kind of weird, but I didn't add that. That's not my fault. Let's see a baby Noodles Ninja. Oh yeah, that's not a thing. I decided to spawn a Noodles Ninja in the water, and this is how he looked. He looks a lot better in water because you can actually see his legs. He would also look a lot better if his arms and legs moved, but I'm not doing all that. I decided to fight Noodles Ninja to see if he really is a ninja. I really should get some armor for these fights. I decided to give Noodles Ninja an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but his eyes are kind of scary. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Silent Steve. And Silent Steve is a serpent, so I made him from a warden. Because those two are the exact same thing. I deleted everything except his body, colored him purple, and then I started shaping his new body. After that, I started making his head, gave him some eyes, and then I added his tongue. Yeah, this looks really bad, but it's gonna have to do. At least he isn't broken. He also kind of moves like a serpent, so that's cool. Okay, maybe that's not how a serpent moves, but I'm pretending it does. Since Silent Steve is a serpent, it only makes sense to spawn him in the water. Surprisingly, it actually looks like he belongs here. I decided to see if Silent Steve or Noodles Ninja is the superior water monster. Okay, this fight is kind of weird. I don't think the warden can melee in water. But even though he can't melee, Silent Steve still won. Okay, that's enough Silent Steve for now. He's kind of cursed. I decided to give Silent Steve a 3 out of 10 because I just don't really know what this is supposed to 